I fancy I fancy a root beer. Already had a coffee. What's the time? Ten past ten. Hmm. <sighs> God damn it, my phone is really not behaving very well. Just can't seem to hold a charge these days. Maybe it's old, I don't know. Right. Hang on just a tick. Cool, I've just gone live. Fantastic. If there's anyone lurking in the chat, good morning. Bear with me just one moment. I thought this pr I thought this Pringles tube was empty. It's a small amount. Hang on. Mm. A bit old. Um. Put it to one side, I think. Hmm. Hi there, L Juice. Um, how is Lulu? She's good, although I'm afraid she's quite naughty. She's um. She's not being punished, but she, um, well, you'll see, you'll see. She's been very, very, she's been a bad dog today. Hang on. <laughs> yes, indeed, Crichton. Crichton Zero. So, I had to wake up early uh, due to a vet appointment, and, uh, yeah, I just figured that, well, you know, I'm a few hours ahead of schedule, so might as well just crack, you know, move the schedule ahead a little bit, the sooner I can do a live stream, uh, I guess the sooner I can go get on with work, really. So, I did do a little bit of work, but I uh, fancy a bit of games. I'm in the mood for some games. Um, mm, mm, yeah. Yeah. Just getting some Pringles out the back of my teeth. Um, for now, Sir Ganymede, for now. I'm more, I'm simply in the mood for Factorio at the moment. Thank you, Wino. Thank you very much, Wino. Thank you. Hmm. 212 in the United States of America? Well, wakey wakey, you're late. The rest of Europe is already awake. It's a uh, quarter past ten in the morning over here in England, and the rest of Europe, it's already well into the afternoon. Right. Hi there, Cyanide. Uh, ZF Cyanide is in the chat, everyone. You're probably, you're probably familiar with him. Feel free to say hi. Um, so, yes, uh, so, good morning, folks. Just trickling in, I hope you're well. So, um, Lulu was a bit naughty today. Just to explain what's happened, the uh, it's just a simple vet appointment for an uh, inoculation, vaccination, inoculation. Uh, you know, uh, she's having her jabs, and unfortunately, we couldn't have them done. We couldn't have them done because she was such as in Lulu was such a bitch uh, at the vets. I mean, obviously she's a bitch, but um, I mean she was really, really badly behaved. We got into the vet's office, and she would just. She just did not comply at all. She would snarl and she would snap and she just did not let the vet touch her. So she used to be fairly well behaved with the vet. But now she was just, oh, she was such a hassle and I was apologising to the vet. I'm so sorry, you know, she's normally not like this. And I'm the asshole who has a badly behaved dog. And the moment she's off the table, the moment she's off the vet's table, she's good as gold again. You know, she, she's snil smelling things around the lobby and it's full of interesting smells. So, um, I've got some uh, sedatives for next time. So, we've rescheduled the inoculation, and she's got some sedatives, and we're going to give her some sedatives and, and see if that calms her down before we, yeah, before we take her up again. But also, that's a muzzle. Probably not a very good angle from where she's sleeping right now. She's wearing a muzzle. She does not like the muzzle. She's sleeping right now. Oh my god, the drama, putting that thing on. Um, I had to ply her with lots of cubes of cheese, and afterwards she just sat in my lap just grumbling. Just really, She was super unhappy uh, that she was being forced to wear such a, such a thing. So yeah, it, it's, a short br it's a muzzle for a short breed. Uh, she looks like a Mexican wrestler. Um, <sighs> yeah, but she can't, she can't bite the vet. She, just, she, she cannot bite the vet. That's not, you know... She's got to. She's got to be nice. She's got to be a good girl, and she was a really, really, really bad dog. So, um, yeah, she's just spoiled, I guess. But um, you know, it just makes me look a fucking idiot because 
She was good. She she was good. She she behaved at the vet previously, but now she tried to bite the vet. Um, Gus Veg, uh, as in the vet was just trying to ins- just inspect her. Just you know needs to give her a checkup, obviously, so, and and she just would not be touched. So yeah, pain. Anyway, so yeah, too long didn't read. Um, Lulu's got a, a muzzle on because she tried to bite the vet and she was uncooperative. So we've had to reschedule and we got some sedatives. Um, beyond that, welcome and good morning. Welcome to DTL Wednesday, folks. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely day. So I'm going to be doing a bit of Factorio for a little bit before I crack on with editing Rising Storm Vietnam Bullshittery Part 2. It is day three out of an estimated 20 days of editing. And so far, so good, really. I'm just sort of cracking on. I'm rearranged, so I'm in the cutting phase. So I'm moving clips onto the timeline. Uh, thankfully, I've got lots of clips left over from the last batch of editing. So I've currently got like a whole load that I'm mixing and matching. Um, yeah, so it's fine, really. I'm I'm building the bullshittery episode, and once I have an episode that sort of you know start to finish makes sense, then I start to do the text and the animations. A process that normally takes about half of the half of the runtime, you know half of the editing time so half of it will be the cutting and the quality assurance so putting the video together and making sure that it's in fact polished and the other half is just doing the keyframing and the text and all that stuff in adobe after effects so you know half and half between adobe premiere and adobe after effects so um yeah that's that's what's going on is there a way to watch the factory from day one i don't i don't think so the vods are probably gone by now um, it's probably been quite a few months since I s- first started the factory. I don't know. Maybe. They might still be there. Um, uh, this this factory isn't that old. So, um, yes, research is finished. So let's pick something else. I'm just going through some of the obvious options that I didn't pick earlier. Like character logistics slots and stuff. Right. Welcome to Factorio. For those who are not familiar with Factorio, it is a game in which you play as a crash-landed survivor upon this beautiful green, or it was beautiful and green, world full of uh, native uh, you know, fauna and, and flora and fauna and um, lovely trees and beautiful oceans full of fish, shadows, they're actually fish. And um, yeah, and it's your job to fuck it all up horrendously. But, well, no, it's your job to build a rocket to escape. But in, in order to do that, you've got to mine minerals, you've got to get them smelted, you've got to turn them into, say, uh, iron plates. Oh, hello, hang on a minute. Mm, hello, El Diablo. El Diablo, as Cyanide coined. Hang on. Lulu, Lulu, what's this? Come here. You don't like that muzzle. She's very unhappy right now. Hmm? Lulu. Hello, gorgeous. You are not a happy bunny. Yes, I know. She's pissed. <laughs> oh, honey. I know. Is it horrible? She's. You can hear her bubbling. She's. She's angry. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. I was giving her cheese earlier to try and associate the muzzle with, you know, good. But I don't think I don't think she's buying it. Anyway, so yes, she needs to behave. It's what uh, basically the gist of it. Thank you, the blind guy. Thank you very much, the blind guy. Thank you. Why the muzzle? She tried to bite the vet kit. She's going to back to the vet on Friday, and I want her to I want her to have some time in the muzzle. Uh, over the next few days to get used to it so she doesn't freak the fuck out on Friday when we put it on her to go back. Right. Okay, so, uh, what was I saying? So, Factorio, so you build an ever more complicated chain of components from basic metal plates to metal cogs to gun turrets to ammunition, which you're going to need to fight off the native bugs, which are swarming. Their homes are in, so their hives are the red markers that the radar has picked up. And you need to effectively create an enormous factory, a logistics chain of interconnected factories, assemblers rather, and their mines, uh, drones fly overhead carrying equipment from point to point. Most of them are sleeping right now, but whenever I give a big command, the drones wake up and get to work. Yeah, it's a very cool game. It is just, it is simply a very cool game. Um, hang on. Put some concrete down. Oh, I don't have all the concrete. Let's queue that up. Just missed some. Just pa- so I'm, well, I'm just painting right now. By holding down the shift button, I'm giving the drones queued orders, so they'll do it later. They'll find the concrete. Right, now, what do I need now? Let's get over to the... Uh, the Yeah, so last night I built the rocket silo, which is going to contain the satellite that we're going to launch into orbit. Now, let's go back and have a look at that. So if I, as I move... There are the drones. 
So as I move through the factory from east to west, so this is the main resource, like, bus effectively. So these are all of our main resources like copper or iron or steel. And the other factories pull off what they need and ferry it to the sides. And it's good fun, uh, first grade. It's a, it's a big puzzle game effectively, a puzzle of your own making. I strongly recommend, I strongly recommend Factorio. Right, sorry, why is this belt empty? Oop. My mistake, I've put a box here and I've forgotten to remove it. Oops. Hang on, proximity warning. Uh, the bugs are attacking the wall next to the... Oh, hello. Okay, that hive got uncomfortably close. Uh, so this... They're, yeah, they're breeding. So I'm going to designate designate artillery fire on it. We, have na we now have multiple artillery turrets that are ready for orders. These are cool. Very cool. Fire. Oh, it's already been destroyed. Okay, we did take out a section of the rail. Is it within range of the drone network? Probably not. I'll have to fix that manually. Okay. Yeah, damn bugs. I'm surprised they got that close. The turret should have dealt with that already. Let me just confirm the range. Stand by. No, that was within range. The turret should have handled that before it became a problem. How peculiar. Hang on. How many clips of my recordings uh, don't make it into a bullshittery? Oh, most. Holy shit. Like, the massive, massive majority um, yeah, of, of stuff that happens never makes it into a bullshittery. Okay. Normally, because it's just not funny enough. Right. Okay, so, uh, fix that rail. Trains continue to move. Also, how's the music? Is it too quiet or too loud? I can adjust accordingly. Right, so what's I doing? Sorry. Let's get to the rocket silo and have a look. So note that as I go through the factory, I'll spot multiple fuck-ups that need to be addressed, bit by bit. So here is the rocket silo, mounted into the floor here. Uh, this is the thing, the thing that's going to launch and win the game eventually. So it requires rocket fuel, low-density structures, and um, rocket control units. I'm guessing quite a lot of them. Now we are indeed manufacturing low-density structures as part of our drone, I think, no, blue circuit production line, which is up here. So that's fairly easy to redirect. And we'll do that now. We'll just redirect it, flat redirection round here, get straight to the rocket silo. Although that doesn't necessarily... Cool, it, uh, music's fine, good, good. Um, that doesn't necessarily need to be the rocket location's final... Pl uh, doesn't need to be the final place for the silo. I can put it anywhere. Maybe we should put it here. It, it would be easier. And then we have slightly more space at the top to ferry resources over. Okay, so I'm just going to pick up the rocket silo. <laughs> just lift it up. <laughs> there we go. Oop, another research thing done. Pick the next one. Okay. So let's just put it over here, really. And then um, it gives us more room to play with. Okay. So low, de low density structures are going here. They should be going here. Uh, why are they currently not? Uh, they are. They're just being assembled and... They take time. We have all the... Okay. So it looks like we can upgrade this production and... Right. Maybe perhaps it would be wise to make a sub-factory producing nothing but low-density structures. That would be wise. Hmm. Right. Production modules will be better instead of speed. Indeed. Alas, I don't really have many of those under production. Or do I? Hang on a second. I cancelled it earlier because we had insufficient blue circuits for all of them. I guess we do now. I need to improve this module um, assembly area. Um, yeah, I suppose we can do it now. So give me tier 3 production modules and tier 3 efficiency modules. So these are basically things you clip onto your assemblers and mines to uh, reduce power output, increase speed, and give you some free extra resources. Say like 1 in every 10 or whatever. It's like a free... it's a freebie. Um, yeah. So you can click these, they, they quite literally just clack on and, um, yeah, give you some freebies. Um, give me 150 of each in total, please. How many of the tier 3 speed modules? Um, yeah, well, I, I do need to hugely over, uh, over uh, improve this production. In fact, I can, I can do a quick quick hack now, can't I? Um, hmm. Hi there, I have a bag of Doritos. Welcome indeed. What time is it? It's about half past ten in the morning. 
Okay, ooh, stand by. Where is that? Is that the uranium? Oh, it's the south mine. Didn't I send... I sent the artillery wagon down there. I sent... Has it come back? It has. Uh, okay, hang on. I'm just going to deploy the artillery wagon over there for a moment. Just to start shelling the shit out of the bugs. Just to try and thin their numbers a little bit. So please go... Inside the walls. Here. And when you get there, wait for... Just, yeah, just wait for a couple of minutes shelling the shit out of everything you see. So the artillery wagon, my automated so the automated locomotive with the, uh, well, artillery wagons on it, is off. Bit of a bottleneck there, I need to resolve. Our resources are limitless. To a degree, yeah, actually, they are. Um, you need to go further afield each time. And you can set the world seed to make things scarce or even very long distance. So you have to use rail networks to go places. In fact, that's something I want to do soon. There's a big patch, two big patches of crude oil over here I want to exploit. Mm -mm. Nice. Okay. So hang on a second. So this is working. So yes, I just put these in a quick row, but I didn't really think it through. Um, so what's going on here? So this is getting split. Oh, I see. Yes, it's because... Yes, I see the problem. Uh, so this... Take that out of the equation. Ignore that. Get rid of that. Right, so this splitter here will split the red and the blue circuits in half. And send half this way. And this thing will do nothing but service the speed modules. Uh, drones, can you shimmy this forward to there? Okay. So these, these will produce tier 2 speed modules. Similar story needs to go on over here, really. Thank you, Lucky Wolf DK. Thank you very much, Lucky Wolf. Thank you. Okay. So here come their circuits. Now then. Red, blue, and speed processing units, which are being manufactured here. So if I just do this. There we go. Here come the drones, but I'll do it faster. Okay. So these two are sharing their blue, their red and blue circuits, although potentially this machine will consume them before this one can get them. Potentially. Do I, do I have any future plans for the factory? Not really, uh, Shizu Kira. I'm just kind of trying to play to its completion. I've never really gotten this far. Do an Aussie accent. I'm afraid I can't do accents at all, Nubless. Beyond, well, estuary English. Okay, hang on. That's good, that's fine. Okay. So this one is now being fed tier 2 speed modules quite quickly. There's not much of a backlog being built up though. Okay. We'll leave that as it is for the moment. Uh, what's wrong with this picture? Oh. I'm not, at, not actually feeding the other two. Indeed, well, Cyanide does stream genocide. If you click on the ZF clan link below, you'll find a, a stream team of only ZF. So that list will only contain the ZF guys. And lots of us now stream on, on a regular basis, and we do different things. Uh, Cyanide is normally around later in the afternoon, though. He tends to be up and running, like, I don't know, actually, two-ish, three-ish, roughly, I think. It depends. It depends on what he's doing for his work with his software stuff that he does. Hmm. But on the weekend, we tend to play a bit more regular scheduled stuff. We say, hey, let's play Halo or Swap 4 or whatever. Um, not really uh, OG Bronze. I don't really I don't really plan stuff like that. I don't really plan too far ahead. I just kind of do whatever I can with whatever I have. Um, some of my assemblers can have four modules. Indeed, indeed they can. So I can upgrade these if I wish. May as well. Get some speed modules, why not? Oh, I've got a bunch of tier... Oh, wow, cool. In fact, take these away. You... The network needs these more than I do. T uh, tier 3 speed modules. So according to this shopping list, the factory needs 193. So the drones are asking me for the following. Those resources there. So 600 and... 601 units of concrete, 570 uh, tier 1 speed modules, 193 tier 3 speed modules. Hmm. Okay, so that's going to... Yeah, that'll keep it busy for a while. That's good. 
We just certainly have a few more of these though. There's room. Sever that connection. Copy. Uh, how much room? Not a huge amount, just a couple of them. Oops. Okay. Why did I split these? I was trying to go even Stevens, but does that really matter? Not really. I mean, we've got lots of red circuits now. It'd be fine. Try that. Give them all power with a substation. Yeah, it's fine. I don't think one the ones at the end are going to get starved. Hmm. Cool. Okay. Yeah, so circuitry's looking a lot healthier. Previously, it was... Oh, my God. It was awful. Right. Okay. Um, so, now what? So, those modules are sorted. Oh, yes. We were looking at low-density structures. So, the low-density structures are being produced here. I said it might be wise making a sub-factory doing nothing but making these. Plastics. Hmm. We're going to have to improve plastic throughput. I know that looks good now, but not for long. Um, right. So, low-density structures are being added to this belt, which are going this way. And then they're getting consumed. So let's split it there. So put down a splitter. So for those who are not familiar, the splitter conveyor belt will, well, split 50-50. But then filter only low-density structures, which can be found uh, here. And filter them to the left there. So... Only low density structures will come through here. Pinch that blue circuit because it's in the way. And we're going to send it round. And do, do we just feed them directly? We do. Okay. Okay. So what? We just stick them in? Oops. Oh, damn it. <sighs> da, 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 da. Anyway, for the people joining the stream, welcome. I hope you're okay. I hope you're having a nice, smooth week so far. <laughs> Thank you, Honey Bee. Thank you very much, Honey Bee. Thank you. Whoops. Right, so here come low density structures. Cool, which are placed into the machine. Next would be rocket fuel. Okay. So yes, we'll sort out a proper a proper thing later. Um, so rocket fuel and whatever these are, rocket control units. Hmm. Uh, it's a rocket silo, Janu. It's a rocket silo. Um, okay, so rocket fuel is being manuf manufactured over here. I was using it as train fuel. Oh dear, that's not good. Look at the plastic output. So, this needs to be completely rammed, this belt here. Plastic is being produced using petroleum gas and coal. We're getting a lot more petroleum gas, but clearly there's a bottleneck. Is that because something else is backed up? No, it's just we could do with more crude oil. Crude oil or coal. Okay. Or oh, heck, we're getting so much coal that we could just do more oil so improve uh, coal liquefaction all of these product all of these facilities are on, on going full pelt thank you wingrid thank you very much wingrid thank you kindly sir so hang on a minute can i copy the earth i can hang on let me just do this tell the droids to expand to that island so we could actually duplicate this. We could have another row of oil. So these refineries here are taking coal and mixing it with heavy fuel and steam in order to make uh, the same thing that they're breaking down from crude oil. They're making petroleum gas, light gas, uh, sorry, light oil and heavy oil. But look, we got so much coal, we could just split this belt and, and repeat this row on the other side. Giving us more, uh, more petroleum gas, therefore more plastics. Therefore more... Um, well, uh, what's it? Rocket fuel and uh, sorry, not uh, low density structures. Okay, so something to, get, to let the drones get busy with that. So there's one thing I can do. Let's go over here. So here's the rocket fuel. Thank you, Javi Booksy. 
Thank you very much, Jabby. Thank you. How is Lulu? She's okay, uh, DJs, although she's been very naughty, I'm afraid. She's been a bad dog. She tried to bite the vet, so she's wearing a muzzle. Not as a punishment, but because I want her to get used to the muzzle, so when we go back to the vet on Friday, um, she's, she can wear it and she won't freak out. Yeah, she was very naughty, I'm afraid. She, she would not let the vet examine her for her vaccination, and so we got some sedatives as well. So she's going to be wearing the muzzle and she's going to be sedated. Yeah. She looks like a Mexican wrestler, as Cyanide has coined El Diablo. Yes. Right. Ready to rob a bank. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, rocket fuel. We were producing rocket fuel using, yes, solid, so blocks of solid fuel made from light oil. And also, uh, well, light oil itself. So... I want some of this to keep going that... Well, it doesn't have to go that way. It's fueling the trains, but the drones are, de are delivering it. So it can go anywhere. So let's just send the rocket fuel this way. In fact, we can just move the whole assembly, can't we? If it just requires... Yeah, let's just, just, lift, let's just lift it all up. So, let's put this as a blueprint, rather than just Control-C, just in case I fuck it up. Hang on. Nope, cancel that. Uh, hang on. So new blueprint, and then what I want to do is do this. There we go. Right, so I have the blueprint for the for this uh, rocket fuel factory. So let's take it over here and put it right up against the the silos. <sighs> Might need to pop the heating on in a minute. It's a bit chilly in here. Yeah, me too, DJs. Me too, and thank you. Hmm. Ooh, pardon me. Is there going to be enough room? Well, we can make room. So leave that blueprint there. Um, okay, drones, could you please find some demo charges and blow up these cliffs? Could you then please remove the minefield that's in front of us so it doesn't cause any complications? So there are about 2,700 drones, I believe. 2,600, 2,000, yeah. So almost 3,000 logistics drones, 2,622 uh, construction drones. So they should be quite quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the wall of the factory outwards. We're going to push it forward. So please remove these trees. Remove that rock. Okay, are there any bugs out there that could cause a problem? Some. Stand by then. Bringing artillery designation. Shell that, please. Okay, my various artillery turrets around the factory are now firing. Thank you. Get rid of them. Looking good, thank you very much. I'm not familiar with it, the Furious Bacon, I'm afraid. Thank you, Gunslinger. Thank you very much, Gunslinger. Thank you. Right. Oh, they could cause a problem as well. I think these are just... I don't think that's a spawner. Hmm. Okay, so that's it. Yeah, that area has been cleared. Good, good. So drones, would you be so kind as to, uh, in fact, probably just move the thing further so we can get more options. So that's a drone uh, control unit. Thank you, Bald Eagle. Thank you very much, Bald. Thank you. Right, control X. Move it forward to there. I just have to do part part of it manually. Yeah, definitely. Okay, there goes some the drones are just gonna do what they can. Okay, and now So where is the edge of the thing? Need to be careful here. It's there. There it is. Here we go. Drag the facility wall. Everything, mines included, and... Forward we go, forward we go. There. Right. Okay, so, the drones are picking up the, in the individual components, pretty much one 
yeah, one component per drone. They're taking them to storage locations deeper in the factory. Okay, let's also just put a few of these roboports forward just to give them more opportunities to recharge. It's cool, isn't it? The drone system. Have I built a nuke yet? I built one nuke and I fired it and it was very cool. I should build more of those. Said America. Uh, that's not connected either, is it? There we go. Right. Let's connect up the rail again. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Don't want to interrupt the trains. Let them do their thing. Oh, hang on. There's no rail there. There we go. The trains must run on time. Take note, National Rail. Cool. So we're just pushing the whole factory wall back. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And just make sure the rail is all connected over here as well. Whoops, I missed some bits. Hang on. Cool. Yeah, I might as well just... Yeah. Send a bit further out intentionally if we ever want to expand further. So for the people joining the stream, welcome indeed. I hope you're okay. Um, yeah, just doing a bit of Factorio before I crack on with editing the latest bullshittery, which is Rising Storm, as voted for by the patrons and the Twitch subs. Okay. Very good, very good, very good. Uh, we'll, leave, we'll leave this piece of the wall for now. Um, difficult learning curve? Not, well, sort of. Not not really. Your first factory will be a bit of a mess, but they always are. Uh, you'll learn, like, tricks as you go. But don't worry, it doesn't drop all of the... You, you unlock these piece by piece. That It doesn't drop all of the things on you at once. The first start... Your starting steps will be... Build like a, you know, a basic smeltery or something. Okay, here we go. And also, if I press shift, I'm going to designate this area as to be to be covered in concrete. Concrete will improve my movement speed on it, so it's worth it. Is that correct? Cool. Thank you, Crawl. Thank you very much, Crawl. Thank you, sir. Okay, so the ammo's going this way, so I best start on this corner. You saw the armor bullshittery where cyanide lit up the town. Oh, what, you mean? Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, when we just looked through the devastation. It's quite hard. Sometimes it can be, it, it can be hard to keep it balanced because obviously you want the, the, the guy doing the air support to have fun. But the infantry got to fight stuff as well. Because, you know, otherwise we just go in and there's nothing to shoot. Cool, there we go. Look up the power grid. Yeah, so on, on the boundaries where things have been copied and pasted, things need a little bit of adjustment. Like some random landmines sitting around in the defensive works here. Pick those up. They're good landmines. Make good use of those. Okay. The shotgun destroyed a tank. Indeed. Yeah, so what happened there is that I was experimenting with the various different... So the Doomsday Rounds, I was experimenting in Armour's Arsenal, which is like a, a, just like a, a thing that comes with it. You get to install like a bunch of NPCs. It's a target range, a shooting range. And I discovered that a type of modded round called the Doomsday Round had a splash effect. So each individual pellet, when it hit something, would then cause its own pellets to, to, splat, to splash out. And I don't think the original designer of the mod realized just how devastating that would be because you know the damage stacks to silly degrees if you're able to hit so one pellet is enough to then splash and do enough damage to kill someone easy as in do enough numerical damage in armor to kill someone um this is not hooked up hang on uh why is it not oh really i disconnected this entire area oops so yes after i figured that out i managed to convince them to let me use a shotgun and snuck a few doomsday rounds like buckshot if it didn't work but there was a whole load of doomsday rounds and well the results speak for themselves 
I carved my way through that town, through walls, through buildings, through tanks. Could have shot down helicopters if there were if there were any. Thank you, Redwin. Red Redwin. Thank you very much, Redwin. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for no. Thank you for the compliments. But um, yeah, this factory is a bit a bit trash, as in Factorio veterans are like. Bleh? Right. Okay. Um, so good. 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 Some of this is still not quite built. Thank you, Camhe. Thank you very much, Camhe. Thank you. Oops, the bugs are going for that corner there. Best just remove that. Okay. So what we're doing now, folks, is we're just expanding the factory wall to give us a bit more room. And I'm doing that using pre-made blueprints that I've, yeah, I've just copied with Shift and B. And I'm just linking them all up together. It doesn't match exactly, but it's okay. It doesn't have to. Okay. There we go. So long as we make sure that the flamethrowers match up, as do the conveyor belts for the ammunition. Okay. Stand by, getting proximity warnings. Flamethrowers now linked up. Cool. And we'll, what we'll then do is we'll also bring over... I was going to bring over the artillery turret from its previous corner over there, but we'll build a new one. Stand by. Proximity warnings. Mines are being destroyed. Acid spit from those spitters. Where is that? Is that the south mine? It is. Um, is that within artillery range? I doubt it. Just just beyond it. Um, send... Send this machine again. Send my artillery wagon. Go there and wait for two minutes. Shoot everything that moves. Thank you, Hamburger. Thank you very much, Hamburger. Thank you. Okay. Well, I did look at it, Tiramore, but I don't know. I, forgive me. I, I, I don't. I don't really think this, the, the the armor forty k thing. It, it's not. It's not that forty k. Sure, it's got the models and stuff, but forty k is. It's about more than just the models, really. I'm not trying to, you know, make it like sound like it's too. I'm too cool, yeah. You know, as in the, it's too cool for it or anything. Too cool for armor. But armor's smaller scale compared to what 40k is. It's not 20 Imperial Guardsmen in a battle, a small battle. It's 20,000. You know, your average big battle has billions. So it, it doesn't really make 40k. Hang on a minute. It's just, you know, Armour 3 with some 14k models in it. Cool, there we go. So my artillery pieces will thin out their numbers here. Right, let's copy that one over here. Pop this here. Might as well put down a few. Why not? As I mass produce these things. Eventually. I'll build them manually for now. What are I, I require concrete to build more. Cool, looking good. Um, I think it's got a few mods, but I, I couldn't tell you what they all are, Seth. I'm afraid uh, I did not select them. Right. Okay. Nice. That should ease the pressure a little bit, so the bugs are gradually creeping in as the pollution annoys them. Ah, good. An artillery piece was ready to fire. Let's build another one when we can. Uh, hmm. Thank you, Mert. Thank you very much, Mert. Are the trains running? Uh, hang on. Are the trains backed up? Uh, those ones are in the queue waiting for resources. That's what they're supposed to do. It's fine. 
Uh, they these ones appear to be backed up. Is it my artillery wagon? It's probably just my artillery wagon. Yeah, it's in the way. Um, because I've paused its. Uh, can you move out of the way? Just move here. Let the other trains use the bypass. Okay. Whoops. Uh, I see. No, I don't see. I've just put. I haven't signaled it very well. Okay, return to base. Um, yeah. Yeah, it is. It is pretty. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? It's very absorbing. Hapolia. Hap -hol Hollis, even sorry. Hap Hollis. Okay. Ooh, nice. Flamethrowers. Yeah, the artillery should keep uh, most of the bug spawners away from the walls. Right, cool. Well, we've got some more space at least. That's something. Um, now, whoops, you put down one of these uh, to keep that firing. Oof. Very cool. I like how the artillery is provoking them a lot. Build two more towers. Now then, uh, so now that we've got a bit more room, and yeah, we'll have the, the rocket silo just live there for a bit then. Let's have a look and see if we can transfer that, uh, what is it, the rocket fuel production facility. So here it is. Cool. So we'll just, yeah, we'll just stick it here. Um, okay. And voila. Okay. So these... Uh, chemical plants are going to be taking l uh, light f uh, oil light oil, is that it? Light fuel? Light oil? And they're going to be breaking it, well they're going to be compressing it into blocks of solid fuel and they in turn are going to be fed into these facilities mixed with uh, also um, light oil and turned into rocket fuel which is then going to be fed directly into there so all we have to do is just get it hooked up to this pipe here and we're done Pretty much, I think. Oh, hang on. No, it looks like I didn't copy over the... Yeah, this pipe system here. That's fine. That's easily done. I need some more pipes. Drones bring me pipes. Fairly easy to mass produce. We've got loads of them. Uh, no, I'm not familiar with Satisfactory, I'm afraid. I don't believe it's on Steam. Uh, I, I, I just, I, you know, I can't be asked to deal with other other companies distribution platforms if you're on steam i'd probably look into it but you know all right yeah i know some people like they don't do the epic store because of some other controversy or something i don't really know much about it i'm just i just like my convenience i'm i'm a consumer who enjoys his convenience Sure, a monopoly. One company having a big, big monopoly is not is, is shit, but I can't be asked installing Disney Plus or whatever when there's just you know put it on Netflix for Christ's sake. No one cares. Just put it on Netflix. I'm not going to get ten different accounts for ten different services, especially when there are competing products such as Factorio. You know, in the case of Satisfactory, uh, Satisfactory, I'll just go with the competitor. Because lazy. Right. Okay. Right. Excellent. Fantabulous. So, liquid oil, uh, light oil, sorry, is coming down, being pressed into blocks, which is then being placed onto this conveyor belt, which is then being taken into these assemblers and turned into rocket fuel whilst also being mixed with a little bit of extra light oil. Um, some of these are missing. They can be re That can be remedied. Very good. And then the rocket fuel, once produced, goes into the rocket silo. I've never once launched a rocket. I would be fascinated. I'll be f yeah, can't wait to have a look. Let's give it some fancy lights. Make it look, look posh. Posh, 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 posh. Posh, the traveling life, the traveling life for me. Okay. Right, so now, rocket control units. How do we make rocket control units? Let's have a look. I believe they require 
Is it speed module, modules and blue circuits? If so, that should be fairly straightforward. We have both readily available here. Let's have a look, see then. Um, where can I find them? Here they are. Yes, so blue circuits and uh, speed modules. That's it. Lovely. Speed modules are right here. Just split them off. Split it off half. That way. Here are blue circuits. Ha <laughs> ha! Right. Okay. Good morning, Renewable. Good morning indeed. Ah, waking up super early. Ah, well, welcome. Uh, get, grab some breakfast. Hope you have a nice smooth morning. Right. What is a rocket silo? It's the wind condition for Factorio. You need to launch a rocket, which requires just, well, these resources. But I'm surprised at how, I mean, yeah, okay, blue circuits is a bit tough, but these... Low density structures and rocket fuel are fairly easy. I guess you need to get down the research tree in order to even get near that. But I was expecting something a bit, something a bit more complicated. Maybe there's something I've missed. Maybe once I turn it on, we discover that it requires 10 million or something stupid. You know, something like something insane. I guess we'll find out. Da, 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 da. No, 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 no. What am I doing? I'm being stupid. Sorry. Bear with me. Da, 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 da. 1,000 of the components. Eh, even still, can... that shouldn't be that much, is it? How much does each individual rocket... Yeah, only one blue circuit and one speed module. A level 1 speed module, not even a tier 3 speed module. Mm -hmm. Okay, right, so put down some assembly units here. And these assembly units are going to be grabbing some blue circuits and some tier 1 speed modules. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, so. Let's do this. So tier one speed modules are just going to go under the conveyor belt. They're going to go this way. Hang on. And we're just going to occupy the other side of the belt with blue circuitry. Good morning, Messi. Um, yes, Lulu's fine. It's just her vaccinations. Uh, she had to, yeah, she needed her vaccinations. Unfortunately, Lulu was a very bad dog. She was uncooperative with the vet. She tried to bite the vet and we just couldn't get anything done. And the vet recommended that I give Lulu a sedative. We reschedule, so we have later in the week. So we go, I'm gonna give her a sedative. In addition to that, she now looks like a Mexican wrestler. Um, because she's wearing the muzzle that I bought for her some time ago. I want her to spend some time in the muzzle getting used to it, so she's going to wear it when she goes back to the vet later in the week. She is not happy. She is really not happy. She she was bubbling, like not even growling, bubbling, just seething in anger. I was feeding her tiny, pe tiny pieces of cheese while she was wearing it to try and convince her that it's a good thing, but all the same, she hates it. She hates that thing. Yeah, she's sulking. She's not happy with me, but fuck her. You know, she was a she was a bad dog, really. I look like an arsehole because I'm the guy with the dog that's trying to bite the vet, and the vet's just trying to do her job. Yeah. So not ha on the way back. Not happy. I feel like a parent who's embarrassed with their child. Lulu embarrassed me. Ah, <sighs> so yes. Okay, right. So yes, so for those who are not familiar, so um, blue circuits are, are on one side of the belt and speed modules are on the other. So you can do that. So one, obviously one belt can hold two different items, especially if that particular belt isn't supposed to have an enormous throughput, like say ore. If, you, if you're using something like ore, then perhaps you should just stuff the belt full. But in this case, uh, the facility should be busy for a while. How, how long... How long does it take? Yeah, 99 seconds to produce one module, so, you know, it'll be fine. Uh, sorry, one uh, rocket control unit. So, right. Okay. <sighs> Do I happen to be an incel or something? What, involuntary celibate? Involuntarily celibate? No, ask your mum. Right. There we go. And then rocket control units straight into the rocket control facility. Job done. 
Job done indeed. Um, and I suppose productivity modules would be wise, so we can get more of these. My red circuit belt is fucked. Is it fucked? Ah, uh, it's, it's, it's looking near empty. Thank you, Mertfish. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, red circuits are low again. Yes, why is that then? Let's go up the belt. Red circuits are low because... Plastic is low, of course. Yes, so we need to drastically up the amount of plastic that we are manufacturing. And plastic is low because... Just... Pff, wow, okay, just, just insufficient crude oil throughput. Or, you know, petroleum-based products. So... Let's be American. We need some oil. We're going long distance. We're going to kill anyone that gets in our way. We're going to get some motherfucking oil. There's some over there. In the Far East as well. <laughs> okay. Um, so, let's uh, get some guns and go over there and get some fresh oil. Although, is this all working before I leave it? Uh... Cool. I guess so. So, it's a bit it's a bit like slow and... St I can just control click, can't I? There we go. Yeah. Gradually. What what happens when it gets one more? Hang on. Is it ten? Does it require ten? Uh, oh, okay. So what does it do? Uh, rocket part. One percent. Oh, okay. Right. Lovely. So it's gradually assembling the satellite to complete Factorio. Okay, so job done. Job done. Um, so Oil is good, although coal, uh, coal processing would be also a good idea because we've got so much coal. We've got huge amounts of coal. Well, do we? We're draining the boxes. Hmm. Let's let's go with the oil. <coughs> okay. So, I have my file module on me. That's good. Now, um, let's go and uh, yeah, go and get my uh, well, my artillery wagon. Reverse, uh, put it in manual mode. Reverse hoe. Um, now, if I take that off. Now, if I, I put that there. So, no, 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 no. Fuck, no, no, no. Shit. I need the locomotive on it. Bugger. Didn't mean to do that. Um, damn. Oh, I suppose. Eh, it's fine. I'll just carry these with me and load up the train in a minute. Um, I wanted to put some rails in here, you see. So this is a file module. It will automatically put the rails in front of the track. So, um, could I request that the drones bring me quite a few? Hang on. So bring me, say, a thousand. I'll make some rail signals personally because I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm mass producing those anywhere. Okay. Right. The satellite separate. Oh, really? Is that something else? Have I not researched it yet? The satellite is separate. What's this thing? Allows... Oh! Allows the sat... Oh, I haven't built the satellite. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. Right, that's a bit... Well, it's not that much different. Cool, batteries though. Oh, Factorio is good fun. I'd... I've never got this far. Gotcha, so that's just the rocket. So I need to put the satellite on it. Thank you, Gravis, uh, Gravcion. Thank you very much, Grav. Oh, yes. So what's up with this ammo belt? So the ammunition for the turrets has run dry. Uh, there we go. That's because I severed it here and I did not reconnect it. So give the drones an order. Yes, I. that was when I pushed the walls back. Thank you. Good spot. So, yes, this should do a lap of the whole facility, effectively carrying the depleted uranium ammunition which is being mass produced here all the way to the gun turret surrounding the facility mm. my rails are in the water my rails are in the water what does that mean here oh um yes just a bit of dirt stacked up the drones did it no way i did it you can put soil down there Ooh. Nice, 756 units of uh, proper fissile material. Uranium-235. Reactors are ticking over. or oh, lots of fuel. Ha-ha! <laughs> ah, oh, this base is looking cool now. Oh, 
My uranium train has run out of fuel. I thought... Oh, I didn't schedule you for a refuel. Resupply. Um, resupply. Fuel input. And go there until you're inactive for three seconds. But you don't have fuel to do that, so hey. Um, hang on. One minute. Ein minute and bitter. Cool, there we go. I'll put these in my inventory. Right. Uh, just going to give some rocket fuel to this uh, train. Do I have any? Rocket fuel? Do, 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 do. Rocket fuel. Yeah, 10 units. Doesn't, doesn't even need that. Take two, go refuel. Make sure it's doing that. Yeah, go refuel. Okay, drop into the Witcher sometime. Oh, no, no, I will. I just, you know, I fancy some, of fa fancy, uh, fancy some Factorio. Right, going to give it a save. Now, let's go get some oil, yes? So, how am I going to do this? I guess... Um, hmm. How are we going to do this? Oh yes, I was. I said I wanted to go through here, didn't I? Is that a good idea? Sorry, proximity warnings. It's the damn South Mine again. Um, prepare for all the biters when they get provoked. Yes. How much copper ore do we have remaining? Four point four million. Seven point. Okay. Oh, we'll just we'll just go up and then go around. No, no, fuck it. We'll just, just straight line it. Let's get some soil. Um, so get rid of these. Hang on. Sorry, I just need to prep for a bit. Put these in the trash slots. Take, have the drones take them. Um, what else do I require? Get rid of that. Get rid of that. So by putting them in the trash slots, the drones will take them and drag them away. Okay. Um, thank you, Mallow. Thank you very much, Mallow. Thank you, sir. Do I need all of these blueprints? What on earth is that? No. I blocked the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll sort it in a sec. I just want to... Uh, yes, yeah, so I came here to get, get, to get some earth. So give me a thousand units of earth. Yeah, I'm good, Dave. I'm, I'm, I'm having a nice time, actually. Nice February. Um, things are good. Work's good, so editing for YouTube stuff is good. Streams are good. Uh, you guys have been very generous to me, and as always, thank you. Um, yeah. Happy place. Happy place. Having fun. I uh, had fun with The Witcher 2. I want to go back and play more. Oh, pardon me. Right. Lulu's good. Well, yeah, Lulu's good, but she's being naughty. Um... Did I look at houses? No, I, I haven't. I need to, I need to do that. I was hoping to, because I still rent. You see, can I? Can I just turn the flat? I'm just gonna turn the heating on. It's freezing. Sorry, bear with me. So yes, I need to need to look at houses to possibly, um, you know, get get a place. Or maybe just a flat or something with a garden. Nothing, nothing huge. Oh. Speaking of things I haven't done, yes, indeed, Scarthy points out that there are emotes that I need to, um, yeah, that I need to upload. Yes, thank you, Scarthy. Did I meet Cyanide? I did, Proto Dude. I met him over the new the New Year's Eve. I was invited to Devon, where he currently lives with his super hot girlfriend, and he was very nice. He was a very nice host, and um, yeah. Uh, they, they, I'm very grateful for having me. And I went up with Lulu as well. Unfortunately, again, Lulu was not well behaved. Um, yeah, she, they didn't get, she didn't get on well with the, she didn't get on well with their dogs, which was a pity. It, was, it would have been nice if they, if they gotten, you know, on swimmingly. But Lulu was a bully to Gracie, and Lily and Rosie, the whippets, didn't like Lulu. Yeah. Okay. I know. Yeah, she just misbehaved. 
that's on me as an owner. Okay, so here we are. So switch it to manual mode. So the file, uh, so yeah, this locomotive is a special uh, rail laying one. So we're pretty much just going to straight line it all the way across the lake and make land. Yeah, make a landing and uh, yeah, and um, just start building. So if I activate the, just save it before I fuck it up. So we probably need to do two rails, um, you know, just to for speed. Can I place concrete bridge water? No, don't fire. Can it do that for me? Use landfill. Do I need to put it in the carriage? Probably. Start. There we go. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. Bulldoze as well. Okay. Oh, I see. Uh, oh, I see. It requires a file at each end. Uh, so is it smart enough to... Oh, it is. Wow. Can it put pylons? Oh, I love it. Oh, no. Oh, hold up. Can't place rail. What's it run out of? Rails? No? Oh, I see. No. Okay. Damn. It's not as smart as I was hoping. It, uh, it can't place the pylon. Oh, could, simply because it's run out of dirt, of course. <laughs> so, I love it. What a clever mod. Saves so much time. Okay, yeah. Might need more dirt, actually. Blimey. Okay. Ah, bugger. <laughs> oh, well. Um, but while we're here, we might as well just start shooting shit for lols. Suck it, bugs. Cool. Just clear the uh, clear the landing. Oh, yeah. Hang on a minute. No, as somebody pointed out last night, that is true. Wait a minute. If we're going to do this, we need to uh, pick the right music. Um... Uh, here we are. Yep. Right. Fire at will. All artillery, fire at will. Target all the stinking bugs. If it's got more than two legs, knock it dead. Oh, they're coming at us. Right. Whoop. There's a huge hive here. Are you kidding me? Look at the size of it. <laughs> Die, purple penis. It's prioritizing the spawners. Nice. Very nice. Any more? Any more in range? Might need to manually fire the things now. Stand by, bringing up the targeting reticule. Engage. Okay. Thank you, Pickle Tiger. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Much appreciated. Keep firing. Keep firing. <laughs> okay right let's have a look landing zone is relatively clear the factory can exp expand eastwards over the river 
Okay, we'll probably bypass the cliff or maybe use it as a small turret facility or something. Right, we do, however, need to reverse reverse the file because we've got to go and get more dirt. What about artillery ammo? We've got loads more ready to fire at a moment's notice. Okay. Whoa, watch out. Try not to cause a collision. Very good. Report back to the artillery resupply site. Hang on a minute. How long have I selected like the whole soundtrack? Uh, yeah, just pause it there. Right. Hang on a minute. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> For those who are just joining the stream, Lulu's wearing a muzzle because she was naughty. She tried to bite the vet. We're going to go back to the vet, but when we do, I want her to be uh, used to the muzzle. <laughs> she looks like Rey Mysterio. Yep. Her wrestler name, El Diablo. Right. So I came up with that. I can't take credit for it. Make sure all of the wagons are fully loaded. Nice. Lots of additional artillery shells ready to go. Now then, let's uh, drop off some rail. No, I don't need all, all of these drones. So get rid of these. Don't need all of that. And please bring me some more dirt, though. Uh, lift up these from the wagon. Oh, no, no, no. Where are you going? Hold the fuck. Hold the fucking phone. What are you doing? Why are you going over there? Didn't order you to go there. Is it still within range of the logistics network? Oh, fuck's sake. Hang up. Hold up. Right. Okay. Grab these artillery shells, stick them in the box so that they can be distributed by the drones to other sites around the base. Also, I have two more turrets for you. Uh, take these drones. They'll go and plonk them in places and they can start firing. Right. Take this dirt, put it in here. Bring me a bit more dirt just in case. Hmm. Looking good though, isn't it? It's not perfect. There's plenty of room for improvement. I was playing with the a better green circuit thing here earlier. I was figuring out exactly exactly how much intermediate product, so like copper wire, could be fed into a green circuit thing. I don't think I've wired this properly though. But yeah, so I was trying to make a, a better output for the green circuits. Hmm. Thank you uh, to Casey. Thank you very much to Casey. Thank you. Three copper wire to two green circuits. Yeah? Yeah, it's still not ideal. It's better than it was, Sip. And now uh, it only took me like five minutes anyway. Just copy paste job. Right, here we go. There's some dirt. Put it in the cart. Uh, cancel that. You don't need to bring me any more. File is ready. Let's return to our previous position. And just get back to dig... Well, get back to bridge building. Oh, no. Fucked up. Select the train itself. Give the train the order. Cool. Off we go. Probably, yeah. 8-bit shadow. Hmm. What if you run over the bugs? You can indeed do that, uh, Twitch Adonosa. In fact, many people incorporate high-speed trains around the edge of their factory that are just zooming around running over bugs. Or, you know, just have it so that their train networks are part of their defense. Kill zones, effectively. Hold up. Um, so let me just grab a pylon from the back of here. 37 spare. Oh, you're right. That is hooked up, but this one is not. Cool. Right, so cancel that. It's fine. Activate the file module. Give it a save again. Um, cool. Right. 
da, 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 da. Onwards. Make the landing. Start. We seem to have a cliff in our way. Not for long. Nothing will stop this invasion. Start the fall. We have landed. Okay, turn into the forest. Turn a bit more, please. There we go. Drones blow that up. It's in our way. Right. Now, where are we going? Let me just plot this. So, there is the oil that I need. Pretty much straight line upwards, then. Alright. Start shooting everything that moves. Trouble is, we might be within retaliation range. Do we have any... I don't believe we have any laser turrets ready, do we? Okay. Use attack bots. I don't actually have any of those. Uh, ooh, destroy a capsule. Hmm. Yeah, never really bothered with the deployable robots. They seemed a bit naff. Cool. Just arty everything in our way. Oh, hello. Yeah, that might be a problem. These suckers. Okay, that's a bigger problem. Whoa, there's a big, big blob of red coming straight at us. <laughs> yeah, just back the fuck away. Back the fuck away. Oh, hello. Okay, the oh, I see. They do actually destroy the rail. Oh, that's frustrating. All right, never mind. Um, so it'd be nice if I could get some laser towers. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Goddamn bugs. All right, hold up. Uh, let me just go back a, a little bit because what I'm going to do is I'm going to request some laser towers from the uh, the facility here. So once I enter its logistics radius. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. Ah, oh, damn. I'm not quite there yet. You keep firing for a second. Drones, bring me... I need laser towers for the other side. Gimme, gimme, gimme. You've got some here. I, I know you do. I gave them to you. Thank you, um, Wozo... Wo... Sorry. Wozo... Wo Thank you very much. Damn, they're eating the rail that I just placed. Hmm. Did they give me the laser towers? Go give me the laser towers. Where are they? They'd be in the supply box down here, right? I can see them! Okay, a single laser tower. <laughs> Two laser towers. Oh, bugger. I assume they're just going down the rail eating it like spaghetti. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Oh, good lord! Okay, hold up! Um, they're, No, they just went fuck you and they just decided to cross like super quickly. Lasers, um, shoot... Shoot the... Oh, Jesus, that's really bad. La lasers, laser them, please. Fuck! Um, hold up. Hold the fucking phone. That wasn't part of the plan. Give me depleted uranium. Damn it! Ow! Stop! Bl oh god, oh god, the acid jizz! Right, hold up. Oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, um, right, that that went just like the Starship Troopers battle there, then. Um, whoops. Whoopsie-daisy. Uh, oh, crap. Damn it. Right, so lesson learned. Reverse before we provoke the bugs this time. Let's make sure we have a solid... Yeah, get some shields. Yeah, I never bothered doing that. I should probably do that, shouldn't I? Energy shield... Energy shield mark two. Hmm. Okay. Go back here, get some laser towers and gatlings and whatever. Build a, a yeah, beachhead effectively. Alright, you sit there and behave. What's the range on that? Let's go over here. Oh dear me. Um in fact, why don't we just put it on this end rather than that end? 
Uh, hang on. Yeah, so if it's in range of the, log of the logistics network, which it kind of is, but I can certainly build a better one. Um, hold up. There we go. Do that. And then do that. And do that. Okay. And then just on this end, we'll just put a uh, defensive wall. So we'll just go... Hang on. Defensive wall. How do I do it? Uh, 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 uh. Cool. And then just say, put this here. Oh. Cool. So just a, a simple door. And then we'll just put some turrets and stuff. So uh, I guess we'll... Uh, I could do with them just bringing me the turrets. Bring me the turrets. Do we have any flamethrower ammo nearby? We do down there. So we'll break that off and just send some ammo up here. Maybe there's one closer. Uh, so why are they no longer getting depleted? Oh, I see. Now cancel that. And get rid of that. Up here on the other side, keep them out of the range of the melee. Well, no, I'm hoping that if I do this, um, the trains will help. Will run some over at high speed. What's the actual goal? Build a huge factory, Jacob. The final thing you build is a satellite, but really it's building a huge interconnected series of logistics chains uh, a big factory complex. Hold up, I'm just going to do this. Get a bit of an even... There we go. That's rubbish. Hang on. Probably don't have the dirt with them. Oh, no, don't, don't do that, actually. Leave that as it is. I just wanted an even bit here. Uh, take out these trees though. Get rid of this vegetation. Where are those turrets? Hmm. Laser towers. <laughs> That'll do. Okay, give me uh, just laser tower. No. Oh, because there's ah, damn. Is there dirt in the train? There's dirt in the train. Just grab some here. Trains can do it. Right, so please just build a wall that goes like that. Cool. Are my drone switched off? What's going on? Oh, these ones are doing it. Okay, put laser tower, laser tower. Okay, so if any try to cross the bridge, they'll just attack this security fence and the laser towers will start hitting them, destroying them. Okay. And hell, we could probably put a proper artillery piece here, shooting them. No, then we'll blow up the rails. We don't want that. So let's put one of these down as well. Right. Okay. Well, that's some. That's that, that's a little something. It's not great, but um, at least it will stop any immediate attempts to cross. Now then, uh, so let's focus on just getting getting over to the other side. Hang on. And then if they attack, we can... Do I have laser towers with me? Uh, laser towers, laser towers. Let me just make sure I've got some before I leave. Yeah, go get them. Right. Cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I'm not, I know I'm blocking the trains. Did I set up a proper rail signal? Probably, did, probably didn't there. Bug up, what's going on? Yeah, just bugs attacking the drones. Bastards. Hmm. Use the cliff on the other side? Uh, could do. Um, yeah, like a... Uh, for a doubt on the position. <clears throat> yeah, could do. No, no, don't worry about it, uh, Interstellar. It, 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 it looks complicated now, but its learning curve is not... It, it doesn't just throw you in the deep end. It'll, it starts small and builds up. Pringles. Mm. <laughs> Alright. So, laser towers, do I have them? I do. I save it again then. Here we go. I did. I did indeed, uh, Kida. It was a vet appointment. Uh, just vaccinations. But Lulu was uh, very misbehaved. It's a very naughty girl. She tried to bite the vet. 
Right. Yeah, we can we can like build a um an artillery piece here with some gatlings or something. For now though, let's just uh put down. Hang on. Put down these. Can my drones not build the substations? I guess I'm not in range yet. I'll just do it manually. Right. Okay, so forward we go with the file. And we're just behind us, we'll put a wall. Do I have any on me? No, didn't bring any. Okay. Uh, yes, I, I can get out the train in any time I wish, yeah. So here we go. So we advance with the file unit. Whoop, hello. We reverse with the file unit. Because bugs. Shoot them, shoot them, shoot them. No, no, nothing like Minecraft, um, Jacob. Minecraft, with its block building, is about all about creativity, where you're given lots of individual pieces and you can configure them any way you want. Factorio has an extremely rigid um, component and logistic system. This assembler to make this thing can only take these resources, that sort of thing. And you build big logistics cha uh, chains. So it's not like Lego. Minecraft is like Lego, basically. Different blocks and you can build whatever you want out of it. But this is a very different. Okay. Just need to clear the way. Um, let's put down a few of these laser towers. I assume we're going to need them momentarily. Yep, we are. Put these down. Okay, back up, back up. Cool, my own suit's lasers are assisting. Yikes! Blimey, they are tough. It's alright, these laser towers are totally expendable. Shoot them. Shoot them now. Good lord. Angry, angry bugs. Can we fire and move? No. Reverse! Reverse! The file is valuable! Reverse! My skin is valuable! God damn it. Ah. God damn it. Those bugs do not fuck around. They do not fuck around at all, do they? Right. So, let's get ready for them. So, stick down a proper module thing and just go, fuck are you, sideways. That's what I think of your opinion. And start fucking assisting with the shelling. Oh, good grief. Oh, good grief on toast. Shoot, 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 shoot. Shoot the bugs. Shoot the bugs right now. There's so many bugs. <laughs> Reverse. Good lord. Damn. Not good. Hang on. Yes, I was hoping that we could, yeah, cut our way further. Okay, hang on. Well, we got we got a little way in. Yeah, stay back. Let, yeah, let's thin their numbers manually from from a distance for a, a minute. Yeah, let the laser towers there just do their thing. Yeah. Right. Um. So if we bring up the manual targeting tool. There we go. Open up the map. We've got much long, longer range. Select gu uh, turret range. Right. Bish bash bosh bosh. Okay. Bish 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 bosh. Bish bish bosh bosh bosh. Hmm. So there's the first crude oil thing. So what I'll what I'll do is I'll summon over one of the supply trains with turrets and uranium rounds and all that all the nice stuff and we'll start building up a defensive cordon around it and we'll need to add our artillery turrets to that mix so the supply trains need to deliver well turret ammo 
Cool. So first batch of crude oil, which is what we're here for, obviously. Boom. Oh, they've already, they've already moved. I see old radar contact. Need to get radars over here. Hmm. Spawners are the priority. Just get rid of any fresh creatures protecting the crude oil. Oof, that's a big hive. Could I make an artillery island in the middle of the lake? I guess so, yeah. Although, probably need want the artillery areas next to our own factories, really. Stop them before they get to the walls. Okay. I could do. I could indeed start shooting at everything this way. But, um... I only really need the thing... Yeah, there are specific things that I need. The crude oil. I don't really need to wipe out all the bugs. Nor probably could I. Mm hmm. Are we out? No, no, we've still got lots of ammunition. Uh, give me a radar. Do I have one? Stand by. Oh, yeah, it's eating the rail up there. Um, give me a radar. Pop it here for the laser towers. In addition, place down extra laser towers. Because I expect them right there. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the bugs mean business. Let's back the fuck up. Back the fuck up. Uh, are these are they, these could be enough? Ugh. Right. Um, get out of that train. Maybe bring over a little bit more, eh? All right. Flamethrowers. Give me some flamethrowers. Flamethrowers are fun. Yeah, that, that tiny little wall is not going to be enough. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll put down. Hang on. Well, give me give me the flamethrowers so I can start deploying them. And we'll put yeah we'll go bring up some depleted uranium. Yep, take off and nuke it all from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, still request a chest rather than a conveyor. How, how's the drone network here? Looking strong. Right. Do that. And flamethrower turrets. Did you bring me any? Not yet. Okay, conveyor belt just behind it. Severed the power. That will need to be remedied. Right. Cool. Uh, move this forward a bit. There we go. My drone's not switched on. I don't know why they, they're not deploying quickly. Do I not have any drones? I've got logistics drones, but no construction. Must have given them away accidentally. Uh, hang on. Construction drones, where are you? Here's one. Damn it. Fine, bring me bring me construction drones. Where are they? Here they are. Bring me a batch of them. Hmm. Okay, request a chest deployed. It's not within range of the, the, the logis ah, logistics network for the drones, so that can be sorted like that. The whole thing does not have power. That can be sorted like that. Okay, and then please bring me depleted uranium ammunition. Thank you, Nizeth. Thank you very much, Nizeth. Thank you. Hmm. 
I should probably make a second land bridge full of turrets for the railroad bridge. No, nah, it wouldn't be necessary. The high-speed trains moving back and forth the railroad bridge should be enough to deal with any bugs that are on them. They just squash them immediately. But I will have a second bridge for the outflow. So, uh, as in, I just want this to be a high-speed track where the trains don't really stop. They pull off to a siding when they want to stop. So this is the out uh, rail, and the in rail will be, um, where's the, we don't really, oh, no, we don't really have a siding here. Um, let's just make one, we'll just make one, goes around, links up here or something. Trains are all backed up, yep, more than likely, I've got a train that's in the way here. So let's have a look then, let's put down, make some rail signals, stick one here, let them carry on with their business, have fun. Right. It's not that I haven't noticed, it's a, it's a work in progress, Aino Zero. Right. Cool, there we go. And flamethrower ammo. Cool, flamethrower's here. So the range in that is much greater, actually. So I'll well, just stick them there. In fact, just stick them at the, yeah. Stick them at this range and then let them have some fun. Do, 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 do. Okay. You don't understand anything, uh, Bulgaria. Okay, so right now what I'm doing is I'm I'm placing down turrets that consume ammunition. So either depleted uranium rounds or flamethrower ammunition. And I'm having to set up uh, a supply line for it. So in this case, we're putting down some pipes, which will connect to a sort of light... Hang on. Uh, a sort of a, a flammable liquid that we can squirt on the bugs. So do this. Can the bugs start flying? Mercifully and thankfully not, no. They're, they've only got land-based variants. Because that would suck indeed. <laughs> yeah. Oops, I missed. Da, 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 da. There we go. Flamethrower propellant. Propellant. Flamethrower accelerant. Fuel. Ammo. Whatever you call it. There we go. These should now all be be within range. So, yeah, they'll attack the walls. Uh, depleted uranium gatlings can fire. Flamethrower can squirt. So that's in the event that they reach the other side. The ones that the trains do not squash. Cool. Now then, uh, let me just save the game and go to the train screen. Select one of the resupply trains. This one here will do. And order it to come here and wait for further orders. I'm going to creep along the rail with it and build, well, what I need on the other side. Yeah, exactly, Glory. Something like that. We could stick a bunch of turrets over there. Something. Or just ignore it. We'll see. Cool, here it is. It's arrived. So let's move forward. So that's just going to back up the trains for a while, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. Thank you, um, Mr. Cake Nom. Thank you very much, Mr. Cake. Thank you. Right, here we go. So forward we go. The supply train, if you wouldn't be so, if you wouldn't mind. Okay, the bugs are just sitting there. It's a slight problem. Um, hang on. Well, ignore because once we're past this point, there won't be really anything for the bugs to go for. So we, they're attacking this now because. Well, we're provoking them with artillery, but in a moment, we can just fuck off and go get the oil. They'll attack the oil, because it, the oil mining, because it'll be making lots of vibrations. Oh, the cheeky bastards. Hold up. I see, so they attacked the, the, the point where the noise came from, where the artillery fired. That's kind of cool. Behemoth. Big, big, big. Rip rails, we've got literal tens of thousands of them can be easily replaced and repaired like so the drones are doing it in front of me as we ride if you could do it again that would be appreciated drones oh do I not have instruction yeah I do go go work no won't repair it oh maybe they're after a repair kit no oh I see 
the drones of the facility are doing it rather than my personal drones. Something was already queued. Ooh, do I have a room? Yeah, there we go. Cool. Cool. I have no idea, Funkerberg. No clue at all. I couldn't tell you what version this is. Ooh, hello. What's that up, up there? Ah, it's fine. Flamethrower's got those sorted. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly indeed. Yeah, so we'll just disregard this. The bugs can crawl along the rail if they wish and face the turrets on the other side. And if they're not enough, then I'll just put more. Okay, so... Let's creep forward. Obviously, the problem we had before is still going to be there. I need to put down a radar. They'll attack and destroy the radar eventually. Uh, hang on. Damn, I didn't want the turrets to fire there. Uh, just stick that there. They'll blow it up. It's fine. Does it scan immediately or probably not? Mm-hmm. Huh. I don't know, Funkerberg. This would have been like last year or something. If I did, then I can't recall. Okay, hold up. Should be enough for my lasers to handle. Right, forward we go. Oops, start the... F so, save it. So, I just need to get to a point where we can park the supply train and start building defences. So let the file continue forward, and then, will my lasers be enough? Maybe not. Maybe. No power? Fine. There we go, job done. Lovely. Okay. Right, give that a save and turn it to the right. There's our oil. Looking beautiful. Okay. Sweet. And back we go. Looping around the other patch of oil, which is here. Oh, out of big electrical poles, are we? Oh, out, out of lamps. We have no lamps. This is an emergency. What will we do? Cool. Da 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 da. -da. Now, um, hmm. How am I going to? Sorry, where am I going to put the returning rail? That's the next question. We can go any anywhere really. Oh, we probably don't have enough dirt to make the return. Uh, maybe no, probably not. We can make a start. Bear with. Uh, where's the other cliff? Oh, already gone. Sweet. Okay. So, where should I send it? Where should I send it? So that's the output for the forge. It can go there, I guess. Yeah. Prefer to do it from the other side. I should be fine. Let's just do what we can. Oh, I'm slightly worried that if I drive forward, I might get trapped by the bugs I'm now provoking. Um, let's see how we do. Out of lamps? Oh, I see. Uh, I can give them some of those. Take lamps and take pylons. So what point do we turn? Round about now, probably. I think. There we go. Okay, probably probably going to run out of dirt any minute now. Oh, it's going to be close. I almost had had it right with the rail. Going to have to do a slight adjustment. <laughs> oh, oh, we just got a little bit left in the inventory. Hang on. Okay, put that there. Oh. Yep. Lovely, 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 lovely. And then we just repeat what we did up there. Cool. And then just just hook it all up and then there's our there's our cross lake rail system. Cool. Copy. 
and just stick that there for the minute. Thank you, artillery. Good morning, Peely. Good morning, sir. Hope you're well. It's bloody freezing. Sorry, I'm just going to tweak the heater because it's so cold in here. Hang on. Also, I'm just going to go to the toilet. Oh, hang on. Ah, there is a dog who's also not a pro wrestler for some reason. Okay, let's stick that there. So cold. Okay. Yes, um, for, uh, for the people asking why she's wearing the muzzle, um, she was very naughty when we went to the vets this morning. She tried to bite the vet, and so when we go back later this week, I've got some sedatives in order to calm her down, and also I want her to get used to wearing that muzzle so that she doesn't freak out when, uh, you know, when she's wearing it at the vets. But yeah, she does not like it at all. She's very unhappy. But, yeah, you know, has to be done. She's she's biting the vet. She, she can't bite the vet. Anyway, welcome for the people just joining the stream. So, I've just finished building another rail... So switch that off that overlay. So another rail network, this time one that goes over the lake in order to get to the crude oil and later, of course, things like uranium and coal in that area. So this is the outgoing track and this will be the incoming. The trains are backed up, obviously, because the supply train is waiting to move. If I just shimmy it forward a little bit in the space that I left, it should have enough room. And then switch it over to manual mode. Okay, so... These are in the way. <laughs> sort of fish. There are 15 dead fish in there. Right. Move those storage chests el elsewhere. No, don't give me the fish. Stop it. Um, thank you, Jester Designs. Thank you very much, Jester. Thank you sincerely. Thank you. And before that, Mr. Cake N uh, Nom. Thank you very much, Mr. Cake. Okay, just wait until they move that. Trains are still stuck. Um, yeah, is it not past the signal? Thought it was. Go there. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. There we go. Thank you. Must have been the tail end. Must have still been over the... Uh, over the signal. Oh. Right. The bugs can run into your base now because of the rails. Yes, they can. Yes, they can indeed. Right. Uh, hold up. So we'll just do that. There we go. And that will... Yeah, so this effectively becomes the bypass rail. Although I'd best be careful with these signals then. So make sure there's a rail signal there, there and there. Okay. Thank you, John D. Thank you very much, John. 
Thank you kindly. That looks good. Right, excellent. So, any returning train that wants to come over, yeah, from, from the other side, the east side of the lake, will have to cross through either of these gates. So let's just put down a bit of concrete here, and there as well, and we'll duplicate this setup. So I've got like an airlock thing going on. Right, and let's put down some Gatlings to act as the defense work, defensive works here. So can I copy the earth that I made? I'll just do this here. Okay. In fact, not, not necessarily all of it, just a little bit. Uh, give me this earth here. Let my drones do it. Nice. Good, thank you, Birdie. Good indeed. I hope you're well. Um, how's the satellite going? Good question, Lord Ron. I don't think we started the satellite, but we did start the rocket. Turns out there are two different components. Um, so how far through is it? Sorry. Ooh, 55 out of 100 rocket parts. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Right. Thank you, Mexican. Thank you very much, Mexican. Thank you. Right. So now, let's also put down some additional walls. There. Oops. Okay, that needs to be done properly in a minute. Should go get some more earthworks. Do I not have any? No, not currently. Um, yes, yeah, she is. She's a French bulldog, Mozart. A Frenchie. A very popular dog breed. Owing to their uh, friendly, happy, clown-like nature. Uh, the fact that they are very quiet, so they don't cause no they do they do not cause noise complaints. And they are great living in small apartments, so they're good for city dwellers. In addition, they are bulky, so and they do not generally possess tails. They're very small, tucked under their, you know, at their, at their back. So kids can't, they're not easily breakable when it comes to kids that grab and pull things. So they're good for families. They, they are, however, they are, however, very, very stubborn. They're an extremely stubborn dog, probably one of the most stubborn once they don't want to do something, they're like, no, I'm not doing that. So that young lady is a, a, a typical example of uh, a Frenchie. Um, it's a muzzle, sorry, Shoppy. She she was naughty this morning. She bit the vet. So she was supposed to have her vaccination, but the vet couldn't even, get, it couldn't even do a basic inspection. She would just snarl and snap at the vet. So I want her to get used to that because next time she goes to the vet, she's wearing a muzzle. And she, we're gonna have, well, yeah. She's, we've got some sedatives that I'm gonna give her about three hours beforehand in the food. Hello, sweetie. Hello. Hmm. I know you don't like it. I'm sorry. I know you hate it. You're being a very good girl. Well done. Yeah, she is absolutely livid. Holy shit. <laughs> she, is <laughs> she is not happy. She is absolutely not happy right now. You should have seen her earlier. Holy shit. She was just, she was bubbling. She was so angry. She was bubbling. She wasn't even growling. She was just, you know, it was like seething. That's what she was doing. Yeah, anyway. No, I need to be stern with her. She's... She's been a brat. Oh, the fucking drones gave me the fish. Take the damn... F I don't want the fish. Take the bloody fish back. Right. Um, that one's getting loaded. That one's waiting in the queue to get loaded. Now then. Um, so, yes, crude oil. Let's go get some crude oil. So now that we've got the train that can build the defences, we can just drive it over. So we'll deal with that later. We'll come back to do that. Um... Does she protest fart? <laughs> no, mercifully she doesn't. What's that? This one has no power? Really? I severed the power? Hmm. Okay. So. Give it a save. <laughs> You've never seen a dog that angry. <laughs> Hello. You right, Annie? Hmm. Good girl. Yeah, she can still drink and she can still lick, but she can't easily open her her whole mouth. Good girl, good girl, good girl. 
Yes. Right, anyway, so forward we go. So, oh look, you can see a, a behemoth biter that tried to come through. Good, good. So yeah, the high speed train should just knock them down, squash them. All right. So. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the supply train over here and start duplicating the defenses that we'll, that we'll need. Uh, we'll need to also quickly make a drop off station, a service station effectively. So let's copy this one here. So copy this one, and so where is this crude oil facility going to be? Um, suppose we can put it in the middle here. Yeah, just stick it there. So have the rails come this way. Move that pylon. Do that. There we go. Okay. I don't have any spare pylons. We've got to go back to the main factory. We'll just get some those big ones there. Right. Now then. Uh, so, bish, bash, bosh. Followed by bish, bish, bish. So, I'm just having my suit manufacture some storage containers. Uh, and also, need more room there. Storage containers and um, filter arms. Park there. Here we go. And get down a station stop. Right. Just need to wait a moment for it to do all this. And then it's going to start unloading the components necessary to build the defensive works. Right. Cool. Uh, and where's the other crude oil patches up there? Cool. The drones are deploying the storage containers. Please also deploy this robo port here. Oh, I didn't, damn, I didn't do the cable logic with it. Oops, hold up. Um, need to copy this robo port. So what's happening is that these red cables are detecting how many uh, how many of each tip particular type of drone is in the network and deploying them until there's at least 100 at each substation. It's very, very cool. Uh, let's also just put the rails down in the event that I need to get the fuck out of here. Pronto sharpish. Cool. Right. Uh, any more for any more? Yeah, they're just building them. And what about the robo port? Don't, don't get why my drones are so lazy. Maybe I need. Do I need a robo port Mark II? Maybe. Oh, the whole thing doesn't have power. Um. Right. Bring some power from here. From here. From here. Oops. Okay. Contact warning. Uh, yes, yeah, South Factory is going to cause problems. Oh, nice. The concrete's getting deployed now. Hmm. Does Neville stream? He does indeed. Uh, infrequently, though. He does indeed, though. Right, there we go. So, deploying some of these. Uh, since we are out in hostile bug country, let's just quickly let's get some crude defenses up. This is by no means final. I just want to get some turrets going, you know. Thank you, Lito. Thank you very much, Lito. Thank you, sir. And what we do need to go and do is get... Uh, actual shells loaded into this wagon or maybe have a, a maybe have a specialist um, artillery wagon just delivering shells since they're so huge it's only purpose to go from point to point making sure that all of the sub outposts have sufficient shells okay stand by put this down here from this requester chest Please bring depleted uranium rounds. There's no chest deployed. Hold up. Build nine more of them. In fact, wait. I don't need to build them myself. There's some here. Look. Take those. Convert these into reds. Right. <laughs> thank you, Det Goon. Welcome indeed, sir. Welcome. Mm, thank you. Right. Um, what about the wall? Oh, see, they're all still in the train. 
There we go. Oops. Thank you, Demento. Thank you very much, Demento. Thank you. go just get something that's slightly sealed in again it's not final I'll be pulling all this up eventually anyway da, 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 da. okay pop that there right drones do your thing Oh, nice, Sergeant. Enjoy, enjoy. Hmm, what have I got in front of me? Hang on, where's that? Damn, I don't know what I've got. I've got three monitors as well. I decided to turn. I've actually got two horizontal, but one is vertical. Um, I thought it. I thought it was weird, but I think so. I saw a screenshot of, of cyanide set up, and he had a vertical monitor. And I thought, stupid, you know, having a vertical monitor. But then I tried it, I was like, okay, that's actually really useful. Um, in situations where, for example, you have chat, such as Twitch chat, having it on a, on a vertical monitor is way... Or, you know, having like an image that's in portrait mode, just dragging and dropping it onto your vertical monitor. Way better. So why, hang on, why are these not unloading? Is the logic not set up correctly? Oh, there's no filter inserted there. Of course, because I didn't ship it here. Yeah, I do these myself. Um, all right, so send it away and have it come back. It can now just it can use the, the network now, can't it? Yeah. So this would be the uh, resupply Far East oil facility. So this one is to go. Uh, okay, go to the Far East Oil Facility. Add add the Far East, uh, resupply. Okay. Time passed. Wait here for about 60 seconds or 3 seconds of inactivity. Right. Okay. Go back to resupply main, then return. All right, cool. Um, can I... Oh, damn, it took the depleted uranium rounds. I should have taken those. Whoops. Yeah, this is just a, a, a stopgap, really. So we want to put in proper proper defences. Anyway, for the people just joining, welcome indeed. I hope you're okay. Let's wait for that train to return. Uh, so where is it right now? Oh, hold up. Is it? Is it waiting behind my... It's waiting behind my gun wagon. Send the file gun wagon back to uh, artillery resupply main. We can always recall it if needs be. Okay. Ah, you're happy with yours. 144 hertz, 2K resolution. You don't notice the curve after a while. Hmm. I play alone, right? I built quite... Yeah, so this is just a single player, Jerus. Um, we have built many a multiplayer factory, but... Uh, I, I don't know. I, there's something a little bit different about doing the single player. It's it's a puzzle. It's ultimately it's a puzzle game, and when you play it with multiple multiple people, it, you, you don't have that much of a connection to it because it's not really your puzzle. There's a gap on the wall. Oh yeah, yeah. It's fine. We're, we'll pull all this down. This is going to be here for a few minutes at best. So once we have the supplies, we're just going to go, boom, just you know, rip all this up and just out ex extend it all the way around this whole area. Yes, still haven't fixed that, fixed that bottleneck train segment. Nope. So that's... Yeah, this is not good at all. This is supposed to be the high-speed rail. So they're all getting backed up, waiting for each other. There's just too much going on here on this rail. So it's, it's the input, it seems. So these are the different stations. Hmm. Yeah, I need to do stuff about overall efficiency. Lasers and depleted uranium looking good. Right, so has it bought fresh supplies? 
Uh, yes, I think. Has it reached the main? What is it doing? Come back. Come back here. Yeah, maybe signals closer together, Lord Asriel. Maybe you're right. <clears throat> well, I hope it comes back soon, because we are kind of defenceless. Beyond my suit. It's the game embodiment of my YouTube career. It's got a bit out of hand. So many things I need to do. Uh, something about efficiency. Yeah. Except, you know, some of the bugs aren't running past with signs saying more emotes. Scarthy emotes and synth rights or whatever. If they were, then yes, this would, this would indeed be my YouTube career. Oh, here it is. Right, okay. You stay there. Um... Oh no, sorry. I'm stupid. I was supposed to... <sighs> okay, hang on. I need to get filter inserters, otherwise it'll never unload it all. Okay, don't worry about that. Put those away. Uh, 50 of those, that's good. Did I ever build that? Um, I need to get the, 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 better, the better suit of armor. Thank you, Robotics. Thank you very much for Robotics. Thank you. Okay, here we are at the resupply. Wait here at the depot for a second until I'm done. Uh, don't need those motors. Don't need those electric motors. Don't need those. Um, do we have... Modules. Tier 2 speed... Tier 2 efficiency and tier 2 productivity times 50. If we do, bring them to me. Let's see if I can make the tier 2 power armor. 30 low density structures as well will also be necessary. So bring me 30 low density structures. Alright. Oh, and 40 electrical. Maybe I did these need those after all then. Um... Yeah. Uh, this are this is Solar Fields. Um, hang on, which album? This is Solar Fields. Um, what is it called? Uh, Movements, full album. Okay. It's not a gimp mask. Thank you, M Car. Thank you very much, M Car. Thank you. Hold up. Do we not have electrical engines on the drone network? Hmm? Hello. Hello. What's that face? What's that face? What's this? I think she's getting used to it at least. That's good. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, for the people just joining. So I took her to get some vaccinations at the vet this morning. An early morning appointment. That's why I was so, you know, up so early. And um, she was very, very badly behaved at the vet. Uh, she would just, she just would not let the vet examine her. She tried to bite the vet. She would just snarl and she would snap. 
So I would like to... Well, we're going to go back there. We've got a, another appointment. I was given some sedatives that I'm going to add to her food and then take her back up to the vet. Probably drive her up because, you know, she might struggle walking if she's sedated. And um, then... Uh, yes, yeah, so effectively I'm, I'm going to put that muzzle on her as well. So I just, I just want her to spend the next few days in and out of the muzzle so she's more chill with it, really. Yeah. But yeah, she was very, very naughty. Because um, all I, I, you know, I look like an asshole. I'm just apologising for her, and she's just going crazy. And this poor vet's just trying to do her job. Okay, hang on a minute. So let's get some filter inserters. I need a bunch of them anyway. Hmm. Okay, so, anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these electric engines, so small drone engines, basically, I'm going to put them on the drone network by placing them in this passive provider chest. So, give me a filter inserter, so a grappling arm that I can define what it will take. So, please, it requires power. Um, oh, we probably also need some more big pylons, don't we? I think we've run out. Huh? No power? Not hooked up? Evidently not hooked up. There we go. Um, right, so filter inserter. Please only take electric engines. There, they're in the drone network. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I know Mexican, but she used to be a good. She used to be good with the vet. She used to be a good girl. I don't know what's happened. She had her glands expressed once. Maybe she. And she did not like that. Maybe maybe she's got like a ne negative association with the vet from then on out. So for those who are not familiar, dogs have... It's quite disgusting. I won't go into the details if anyone's eating. But they have these glands um, just side by side of their anus. And they, pr they produce like scent markings. Uh, it's like scent things. The trouble is they can sometimes get obstructed quite easily. And so it requires a minor procedure to um, unblock but it is not pleasant, and she did not like it. I've gone too far already? I'm sorry. Okay, so I've got that Tier 2 Power Armor now, so let's have a look. So, MK... So, Power Armor MK2, Acid Resistance 70%, Explosion 60 to 50. Oh, nice. Up by 10%, 40% Explosion Resistance. Okay. Um, equipment grid, 10x10, 10 10, shield capacity 0, 7x7, seven seven. ooh, okay, put this on then, <laughs> look no different, okay, ooh, okay, that is a difference, so let's start pulling out the pieces of equipment that I had in my suit, let's pimp, let's get ourselves pimped up, let's take the old power armor and chuck it, okay, open up my suit's grid, Portable fusion reactor, put that in there. An MK2 battery. Get rid of the other personal battery, I don't need it. Okay. Then, I've got a personal robo port for my drones. Night vision, so I can see what's going on. An exoskeleton for movement speed. Belt immunity to stop me from being dragged by my own belts. A laser defense thing. Ooh, an energy shield as well. Okay, so what else can I manufacture? What's this? A discharge defense, pushes back and stuns all nearby enemies. So can I build additional... Give me two additional batteries, just because. Um, personal... Oh, Roboport MK2. 20 low-density structures and five personal Roboports. Ooh. Grab some batteries. Stack exoskeletons. They stack? Can you move like super, super duper fast? <laughs> just take two steps forward. Whoa! Just, you know, zoom off at high speed. Okay. Um, right. So, I'd like to get a better robo port though. So, let's just do this quick. Ah, dear. Hmm. Hang on. Just going to eat some more prink. I'm quite hungry, actually. I had a small breakfast. Do I have a list of mods that I'm using? Alas, I don't, Thalamus. I have no idea myself. 
I played some multiplayer Factorio with the guys, and I think I, I don't, I do have mods, but I don't know how I got them. So I assume I clicked on a Steam Workshop list or something that they specified, but I couldn't tell you. I know that there's one that lets me cross pipes. There's one that has an automatic rail train called a FAL, and there's something else. What, what was it? Uh, um. Anyone remember? Oh, hmm. Long reach, so I can grab things further away from me. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Zade. Hmm. 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 Long reach. Fall. That's it. Okay. Hmm. Right. Okay. So batteries. Oh, I'm still making them. Just gotta wait a moment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Huh. Let's pop back to the um. Oh. Pop back to the east side. Get the get that base built while we wait for wait for my equipment. Thank you, Sir Snails. Thank you very much, sir. Oops. Wasn't me. Didn't do this. Totally wasn't me. Wasn't me at all. No. Uh-uh. No way. No way, Jose. Oh, hang on. Let's tell you what we're going to do. Let's get... Um, let's get some artillery shells in this sucker. Ha-ha! <laughs> let's get... Hang on. Uh, drones. Uh, put down a requester chest. I should probably have a separate carriage for this, frankly. Bring... A total of five. Yeah, let's go nuts. Six <laughs> artillery shells. Bring them to me. Post haste. That means quickly. Thank you, Isaac. Thank you very much. Thank you. We call this hasty. Come on. Yeah, there they are. Fucking hell. You fucking walk here. Said Stalin. Hmm. Have we got. No. Hold up. Right. Artillery shells in the what's it? All aboard. Let's head over to the east side. So, Far East Oil Facility. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Pringles Casanova. I'm really hungry. Nope, Saxora. Not even slightly. <laughs> My rail bottleneck remains and is getting worse. Hmm. Right, we're here. Um, you stay there. Nice. We're unloading everything we need. Put down a storage chest and have this filter inserter grab only artillery shells from the rearmost carriage. Lovely jubbly. Mm. Okay. Depleted uranium is now being distributed amongst some of the turrets, not all of them. Okay, there we go. Right, that should be good. And then we've got some laser towers ourselves, so I'm just going to quickly deploy those. Okay. So now, I'm going to take out... Uh, where are those? Oh, sorry. It's still making them. Um, train, you can go do your thing. So I'm just going to get a couple of artillery turrets down and start shooting at the local bugs in the area to sort of cover us as we start building. Thank you, um, Putsy. Thank you very much, Putsy. Thank you. Thank you kindly. 
Tell you what, in a minute, I'm probably going to take off um, the... I'll take off the muzzle off Lulu, and she's going to be so used to wearing it that she's going to be like, Ugh! Now her face is too cold. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Polanu, I'm using nuclear energy. Mm. I'm gonna put those to one side. Right. Sorry. I need to stop and have lunch. Right. So, um, humans are horrible beings. Parasites to nature's natural course. We consume the organic only to create the inorganic. Trees to metal, air to ash, life to death. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? I mean, look at all this factory that we've built. It's fantastic. Look at this pollution. Hmm. The particulate matter of success. That's what it is. The mines are working hard to, to produce victory in aerosol form. Spraying it all across the surrounding trees. All over the bugs and their children. Because fuck them, they're ugly. They've got too many legs. Right. Okay then, so... Uh, oh, 92 out of 100 components for the rocket. So, without the satellite, can the rocket do nothing? Or can I stick a nuke on it? <laughs> mm. da, 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 da. So, where's that artillery? That first one's ready. Stick that there. Put down a requester chest next to it. And a fast inserter arm. And on that requester chest, just say, bring it. Bring it three of the shells at least, ready to fire. Oh, it's off. Have fun. Similar deal over there. Thank you, Playa. Thank you very much, Playa. Welcome indeed, sir. Okay. So, yep, we, we don't have that many shells. But at least we can clear out the spawners nearby. Now, if I select turret range... So this is the default range that this turret will start destroying the bug homes. Hmm. Or the spawners, even. They'll try to retaliate, obviously. They're coming on in. But so long as the power doesn't fail, we'll be fine. Die, you bastards. Cool. And then, of course, we'll just start expanding from this factory outwards. I mean, we can start doing it now, really. Um, let's get some concrete. And just start paving over paradise. Mm. Right. Sweet. Okay. Um, so let's now... I suppose we can just begin, can't we? We can just start building... So where's the? So that's the crude oil. So that's what we need to surround. Oh, pardon me. So, maybe we should just have th three smaller facilities. Well, we'll start with this small one. Get that going, at least. And then we'll decide where we're going to put the, the actual... Well, the oil station could just be here, couldn't it? Well, no. We might need somewhere separate just to uh, keep it out of, the, out of the faces of the supplies. It'll be fine. Right, here we go. So, stick that there. Oh, where's the furthest right oil thing? Wait, who are you? Oh. Where? What was that about? Why is he going that way? He's going the super long way around. Weird. Um, so the so there's a bottom right one. Hold up. So that one there. So that's the furthest. Spin it round. And bish. Okay. And then there. There. Okay. Cool. Right, okay. Good, good. And then we'll pull off the inner section here, as that will no longer be as relevant. So, yeah, sorry, for, the not, for those not familiar, I'm pasting down pre-made segments of a defensive wall from the main factory. Stand by. Proximity warnings. Landmines being destroyed. Yeah, there's a bug nest there that's going to keep causing problems. Stand by. I'm going to go over here to this train, which is my artillery... A wagon. I'm going to order it to manually drive here 
at which point you're going to wait there for two minutes and engage and destroy everything in the area. Okay. Uh, in addition, let's get down some extra robo-ports so that the drones have a greater range to enact my will. Proximity warning. Landmines are getting destroyed by this spawner that snuck up on us. Oh yeah, no, friendly. It's it's really good. I do do recommend. I know this looks super like oh my god, this is crazy. But consider that I started. See that? This is where I started. It it like a single mine dropping stuff into a box. Okay, I've upgraded that box since. But you know, it's like put that bit of stone in that box and make like a small factory that's cooking some bricks and you know, gradually you build up. You you build up, and th this is like the fifth factory I've made. So these are just tips that I've learned as I've gone really. Give it a go. Do give it a go. What's all this bloody beeping? Hang on. Cool. The artillery train has arrived and it's shelling. Yeah, just clear them out. They're vermin, basically. Have fun. Cool. Right. Um, so, yes. The towers are being built here. The drones are doing their work. Very good. Uh, they do not have power to remedy that. Hang on. Okay. Get that depleted uranium in the whole way. Okay. Get that wall segment in the whole way. Again, none of this is final. Well, this sec this this bit will be final, but this section isn't. I'll just put. I'll probably just rip this whole thing up in a bit. Um, we need an additional supply train carrying walls and ammunition. Uh, this one, your priority has changed. Please come here as soon as you can. Cool. The last stragglers will just rush the walls and be destroyed. Well done, artillery train. You've cleared the way. Undick the belt I've placed. Good shout. Okay. Cool. Power hooked up on that side. Same with... Well, about to be the same on that side. Cool. Oh, there's, there are mines in here. Let's get rid of those. Just in case we have some accident... Ne yeah, an accident next to the crude oil. Does crude oil... Does crude... Does just crude oil blow up? If you set it on fire? I know that um, you can set fire to the oil wells, but that's just the gas that's coming from it, isn't it? The natural gas? You can't set... Can you set fire to crude oil? No, the chat says. Good morning, Bavin. Only one way to find out. Meh. No! You cannot set fire to crude oil. Hmm. Let's stop burning now. <laughs> you can stop burning now. Uh oh. <laughs> um. Oh, thank fuck for that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, so how many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, I think. Right. So, the drones are just adding to the defences, as you can see. Um, so did we get any, any additional artillery shells in the third wagon? Uh, space for them, but none were loaded. Oh, hello. Some spitters are here to visit. Hello, spitters. They're out of range of the defences. Yeah, we need to get some... Hang on. Did I manually... Hang on, let me just get some uh, get some flamer fuel out of here. The flamers have really good range on them, so... Uh, pumps. Give me three pumps. Oh, I'll just shoot them myself. Die, you knobheads. Fuck. Damn bugs. Um, okay, so just go here to one of the pumps. Nope, need to make a pump. Bup, 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 bup. 
bar. Put down a tank as well to store the light, store light oil. Okay, uh, so there's a pump and do that and it, there we go so the pump is now connected to the top of that tanker put down a pipe to bring it over here then put it in this container cool light oil is now being remo removed from the train and we can then funnel it directly into our flamethrowers around the walls there we go cool they now have teeth. Are they all hooked up? Cool. Not all of them. Oh yeah, I need to do the corner segments. Just copy paste the same design. Oh, there's a slight gap there. That needs to be fixed. Uh, cool. Bop, 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 Well, he got addicted to Factorio. It's good. It's good fun. It's enjoyable. It's nice and chill. I've been into... Yeah, but having fun. What am I doing? Fuck. That's fine. doesn't matter. So long as the gap is filled. Right. Okay, then. Pop that there. Hold down shift. Make sure the drones do the rest. Sorry, what are the drones doing? Oh, they have... I see. Insufficient network storage. That can be remedied storage boxes for you so these red ones are called passive providers they will only provide they will not let the drones access them of their own free volition to just store shit so now they've got some storage space to put the wood okay charming Scarthy charming um, right train's good off it goes thank you Sion thank you very much Sion Thank you. Thank you kindly. All right, let's make sure all the flamethrowers are properly properly hooked up. There we go. And maybe put a few laser towers in the corners there, just where it's harder to reach for the conveyor belts with the Gatlings. For the Gatlings. Um, is that not hooked up correctly? Oh. There we go. Flamethrowers are now armed. Gatlings are now armed. Southern defences are A-OK. -okay. Now, by placing the pumps on and starting to extract the oil, we will be generating pollution and noise, hereby attracting the insects. Do they have a name? The bugs that live here? Anyone know? Anyone care? <laughs> They're big and they're ugly. That's it. That's all we need to know. Ugly fucks, bugs, biters. Oh, of course, biters, spitters. Yeah, but like as a as a species, in the law, in the expansive Factorio law. <laughs> Cunts, Gary, biters and spitters. Hi, Andrew says Alistair. Okay. What? Hmm. Oh, pardon me. Xenos, yeah, Xenos filth. Indeed. Okay, pop that there. Uh, <laughs> politicians. Oh dear. Okay. I've got one oil spot. No, we're good, we're good. Okay, um, so also, let's not forget my personal robo port that I just assembled. Uh, oh, no, I require some low-density structures, which I didn't get. I'll have to go back to the main factory. Alistair says, there are 3,000 people watching me, you decrepit old fuck bucket. Is it really so unlikely that one of them is called Andrew and you're saying hi to them? Okay. <laughs> Why? If there's anyone in the chat called and Andrew, be very concerned if Alistair sends you a message. I think he might have a fetish or something. Do not trust that man. Also, good morning, Alistair. Well, good afternoon now, I guess. I require more pipes. <sighs> mm. 
met, met an Andrew once, says Malu. <laughs> do, do, do you want a medal? <laughs> oh, dear. <clears throat> right. You're right, honey. Oh. Um, Alistair, I don't know if you've seen this yet. She's got a... Uh, She's got a, a muzzle that's designed for flat-faced breeds, but it makes her look like a Mexican wrestler. El Diablo. Lou, as Cyanide put. Yeah, she hates it. She was very, very naughty this morning. She tried to bite the vet. We went in to have her vaccinations done, redone, like a top-up. And the vet couldn't even get near her. She would just snarl and snap and try to bite. So, we've got some sedatives for next time we pop in later this week. So put her in, put them in her food about three hours before we go to the vet. But um, also I just want her to get used to the muzzle. So she's going to wear it when we go back. Um, yeah. Not happy with her. She's very, very naughty. Right. Okay. So these pump jacks have now been hooked up. And they are now removing crude oil from the ground. They're then going to place it in containers. Here. Or they're shipping to, well, the main factory floor, I guess. Right. So we'll probably lift this out now and move it somewhere. Just somewhere further down. Somewhere else. Here, maybe. Doesn't matter, really. Just somewhere out of the way. Because this is going to be the crude oil fact, the point, entry point. Hmm. Right. There we go. Crude oil filling up gradually. Excellent. That's what we want. Now then, uh, she's a French bulldog. Oh, hang on, these bugs have attacked recently. We need to extend the defenses up here to get that batch of crude oil. So, let's do this. So, deconstruct all of this. Go. Take out all of this. Get rid of it, get rid of it. Okay. Now, whoops, we have some turrets down there that we can certainly use. Are they, yeah, they are within the range of the drone network. Grab them. Uh, okay, now what? Let's take some rail and just quickly make what I plan to be the supply post to the new one a bit further up. We need more power. Um, yeah, it's fine. Don't worry. What you're looking at isn't final. It's work in progress. Unless you mean we need more power as in the nuclear reactors have died. There we go, pop that down there. Put down a rail signal, or a f two, two more. Thank you, the Ram Beat. Thank you very much, the Ram Beat. Thank you. Hmm. As much as you love RimWorld as a game, the expansion looks like a money grab. Why, how much is it? I haven't really looked into it. Okay, now let's just copy, cut even, just cut the whole damn thing. Fifteen quid? Really? No. Surely not. That's way too expensive. Isn't it just like a... It's like a king thing, isn't it? Like a royalty pack? They've been working on it for 15 months. It's uh, 15 quid, though. That's... That's quite a lot. Okay. There we go. Just put down some more concrete. Just going to paste it here. Just so I can run on it. Okay, so the supply station has been shimmied here. Sorry, why did I... I don't know why I pulled off the rail. I, wasn't, I didn't... I wanted that rail. 
Okay, had a stupid there for a minute. Um, right. Let's get everything hooked back up. Okay. Get all the power that we need. In fact, we'll do the defences first. We'll work around that. So here we go. So the defences will sit there. Whoops, upside down. That is. Um, where is that supposed to sit? I guess there. We just got to redo the uh, the flamethrower. Unless it's all good. Right. So wall defences will creep all the way up here once the drone networks have sufficient power and resources. Um. Hmm. So what am I going to do here? Well, we'll just. Well, we'll just push the rail further in a minute. To be decided. Okay, um, so... Roboports, here we go. Roboport here, roboport there. There. Let's get the supply train back so it can start steadily providing... Well, supplies. Hi there, SWAT Knight. Hello. Okay, pop that power thing, power thing, power thing. Uh, no power? What's severed? Oh, is it, is it? was it this one down here that was providing power? Oh, hello, bugs are coming. I see, so the power loops around the facility but it doesn't, doesn't come on in. Let's do that. There we go. Come on, go build. Shoo. There we go. How are we doing in terms of power? Oh good, 220 megawatts and our reactors are only running on like a third of a third of that in order to keep up with the demand. Mm. Sweet. Alright then. Um, grab a train stop and pop it here. Does it have all of the previous settings? No, it does not. Uh, so this was called the Resupply um, Far East Oil Facility. Very good. It's remembered. Come on over as soon as you can. Mr. Supply Train, we need your attention. Nice. Okay. So yes, and we'll get a we'll get that rail back up. Bugger, I should have left the rail up. It's my bad. Get the rail back up and start filling that oil train then. Start getting some crude oil shipped back to the main factory. Like so. Cool. Vognus, there's not that much content. New faction, clothing, weapons, psychic power system. Uh, okay. Well, I, I don't know anything about it, Vognir. Hmm. I shall look into it later to see if it's worth buying. I tend to be one of these people who doesn't jump in and buy things on day one. Give it some time. Let things ferment, as it were. See, see what general opinion is in terms of quality. Okay, there we go, put down these rail signals. Hmm. Well, there's quite a lot of chat uh, in my defense, Wild Blast. I can't, I can't read it all. Okay. Or if I did, then I'd be making more mistakes in Factorio than I am already. <laughs> and driving the chat even more crazy. Pop that there. Right, so most of those defences are not hooked up and I'll need to go over and attach turrets and other systems. But at least we've got the supply train coming again, dropping off supplies. None of it within the drone network though. That's fixed now. Cool. So, they're off to grab concrete and other bits and drop it around the facility. Don't worry about that. Don't give me the concrete. Use it yourself. Go. Hello. The artillery cannons now have shells and they're firing on the nearby bugs. Now, let's get that train stop. Damn. Insufficient iron plates. I'm going to have to go back to the main facility in order to acquire them. Right. Oh, hello. Piss off, you biting bastards. Bloody things. Right. Oh yeah, so do I have that tier 2 robo port or do I need to build it? Tier 2 robo port requires copper low density structures. Okay. 
We'll hop aboard the train and get on over there. Mm hmm. Right. Damn, so I can't make a train stop at all? No. Alright. Someone back the resupply train. Uh. Hmm. Close off the north first. Um. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be back momentarily. Right. Just uh, plan to get these shut off with wall with doors even. There we go. And quickly just put down these crabber arms so the various turrets can grab their ammunition. Since there's plenty to go around right now. Okay, looking good. What about these then? Can these get hooked up? There we go. Hello, here's my ride. Cool, that's good. Right, let's get back to the main factory and, uh, yeah, back to the main factory and get ourselves uh, some more uh, bits, so power armor upgrades and metal so that we can come back and make train stops for the oil train that's going to pump this uh, delicious and nutritious crude oil uh, well back to the main factory okay here we go so this is our secondary copper plant yeah so this is the bottleneck I've got in my system this thing here this needs to be remedied rather urgently I feel so <laughs> this line should not cross that one it needs to join the downflow as it were and I'll put like a a roundabout or something so that they can come back. Mm. Okay. So, uh, you stay. You're going to be my ride back again. Uh, so the drones are bringing me metal plates. Stand by proximity warning. Yeah, they're, they're, they're just cutting into what they can. It's fine. Figured they would do that. Do we have any radars aboard the train? We currently do not. Yes, we do. We've got 50 of them. Sweet. Hmm. Okay. Low-density structures. I require them. Deliver them to me now. Yeah, the new base is getting gradually eaten. It's fine. We can fix everything that gets destroyed. Is this modded? A little bit, Muster. A little bit. But not that much. Um, so... Uh, another exoskeleton. So this stacks in, does it? The exoskeleton thing? <laughs> um, right. Low density structures. Is it done? Oh, okay, so it's done. The rocket is ready. Rocket inventory. You're expected to put a satellite here. Oh, wow, it's, look, it's properly poking out. How cool is that? I've never built a rocket before. So the silo now has a rocket poking out of it. Built out of um, rocket control units, low density structures, and rocket fuel. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. <laughs> Can I launch the thing? <laughs> what, what happens if I click launch? Does it does it work? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why not? Hang on. Give me, give me, hang on. Give me the dead fish that we've killed. Put the dead fish in the in the rocket and launch it. It stays in orbit for thousands of years and then an alien race finds it. Ah, these fish managed to get a space program and then their species went extinct or devolved into aquatic based creatures. Where's the fish? Bring bring me the fish. How many fish do we have? Hang on. Fish? Are they just called fish? Dead fish? Raw fish. Here they come. So the drones are bringing me all the raw fish that have been dead for, I assume, years. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Save the game first. Yeah, yeah. So 49 dead fish. Oh, 50 dead fish. <laughs> 51, 52. Oh, they carry them in stacks, do they? 60. So I've got 60 dead fish. Any more? Okay, that's it. Save the game. <laughs> Just launch the thing. Right, can I put it in there? Hang on. 
<laughs> okay. Um. What? Oh wow! Oh look at that! Oh wow! It's doing a launchy thing. Wow! That's cool. That's so cool. The fish. Game finished. Wait, what? <laughs> Wasn't I supposed to? So long and thanks for all the fish. Oh, that was an achievement. Was that an achievement? So I'm supposed to launch a satellite and I launched some fish instead. Okay. Time played 85. No, ignore that. Let's see, put the cursor over that. 18 hours at the event. So 18 hours. I've only played for 18 hours. I haven't I haven't lost my mind in Factorio for a while. Um, so we'll keep playing, obviously. Um, so uh, 63,000 uh, 63, uh, big splitters, landmines, kills. Oh. Trees, 5,000. Ah. <laughs> A lamp in my kill feed. Okay. Ah. So, I can just keep building another one, yes? Oh, there we go. It closes. Okay, and then they start loading up to build the next rocket. 1%. So, low density structures, rocket for 2%. Right, gotcha. How cool. They changed it. You only have to launch the rocket with a satellite to get the space science packs. No longer required the satellite to win. Cool. So, hang on. So, space... What does that do then? Space... What's this? Allows sending satellites into space and... Uh, from them receiving scientific data used to produce space science packs. So what does that do? What's a space science pack? What does it do? What does a space science pack do? Uh, they are for repeatable tech that upgrade stuff. Space science is for the infinite research. Ah. Repeatable text such as artillery range. Oh, I s how right, I see. So at the bottom here, does it require space? Yes, I gotcha, gotcha. So the final, so yeah, you need to, oh, that's not a bad idea. That's clear, that's, that's smart. Then you can just keep going like, hey, do you want your turrets to shoot a million miles? By all means. Yeah, and then you can just keep building to just keep absorbing stuff. Make an ever more efficient and complicated factory. Build whole rows of these things launching constantly. Thank you, VR Damage. Thank you very much, VR. <laughs> Launch some damn fish into space. Right, cool. Okay. Uh, looking at the time, though, I do need to wrap up the stream because I've got to go get on with work today. Technically, I should have finished earlier, but I start, I'm i slacking by streaming. Sorry. Um, ooh, so what's this? Roboport allows construction of bots to work for my inventory. Ooh, so in an increased construction area. Ooh, 25 robots. Um, okay, dimensions 2x2. Two two. Ah, okay. So I can stack these as well, can't I? So let's get, like, three of these. Hang on. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> ah, sorry, pardon me. Oh, and I've got another, another exoskeleton. Okay, so this is how fast I can run like this. I'll put the fresh batteries in here. Okay. Um, exoskeleton? Here. No? Uh, ooh, okay. That's quite a bit faster, isn't it? So how many do you reckon I should get? <laughs> I can get three more of these. Really? Should I get three more of those? They're easy to make. <laughs> get five of them. That, that must look ridiculous though. You got like an exoskeleton on top of an, an exoskeleton on top of another one. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Da, 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 ba, da, 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 da. Just make it. Da, 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 da. Okay, 
Is there a max limit? Does it say max limit? Movement speed bonus 30%. One more. Is that noticeably faster or as in compared to three? That's pretty damn cool though, isn't it? Nice. Should have done this ages ago. <laughs> Skittering along. Back in World of Warcraft, as in the classic one, uh, you could get the racial mounts of other races if you gathered enough runecloth and handed them into a certain NPC. However, runecloth was one of those things that back in the day was very not easy to find. Like, you could farm it, but it would take you ages, like stupid amounts of time, and it would only give you a tiny amount of reputation each time. But me, being the crazy motherfucker that I was, and the f someone who played War World of Warcraft constantly e every day after work and on the weekends every waking hour, decided to uh, try and grind as a Forsaken to get the Tauron racial mount, which is a sort of reptile called a Kodo. It's original. The reason I did this is because when the a model that is smaller rides a mount, so effectively the model transforms into a mounted version. So you know your character riding X creature. It's not riding a separate entity. The model just sort of, it gets added to the model. Anyway, the Forsaken model is tiny, very much, much smaller, especially smaller than a Tauron, which is a massive cowman thing, like a Minotaur. So this meant that the Kodo that would spawn, the, the reptile that you'd be riding, was really small. And the original animation for its walking had it walk like a, you know like a, how a salamander, like a Komodo dragon, how they sort of swagger? from left to right, you know, you know what I mean? As in, a Komodo dragon moves its whole, like, midsection as its, as its arms and legs move in an alternating fashion. The Kodo used to do that. They changed the animation later um, to a much more sort of normal looking trot. Anyway, so the point I'm trying to make is that with a Forsaken riding on a tiny Kodo with the old animation, it would skitter like this. It was amazing. You, it, you turn heads the moment you, you move through an area because it looked like nothing in the game. It would like skitter, like, like, you know, it was really quite cool. And I still miss it to this day. All of the hundreds of mounts that I got after that couldn't fill the void left by the change made by, th by that single change in walking animation. Yeah, they scoot. So I was a Forsaken scooting around on this lizard thing. It's like a rhino thing, but it looked like a lizard. Yeah, like this. You, like, you sped up the animation faster than it's supposed to go. <laughs> anyway, sorry, got sidetracked. Right. So, thanks for watching, folks. This has been a bit of Factorio this morning. Um, I'm sure I'll be around later this evening for probably a bit more or something else. We'll see. My fact, yeah, my factory's doing quite well, it seems. Certainly areas that I can improve. Can certainly, you know, get more equipment, build more artillery units, build more sub factories. Yeah. Right. Cool. But yeah, I've never gotten that far, in fact. I've ne yeah, I've never... Well, we need to build a satellite next, don't we? So where's the satellite? Need to research it, don't I? Yeah, need to finish researching. Um, cool. Yeah, satellite's doing... Yeah, factory's doing well. Proximity warning. Uh-oh. Anyway, thank you, folks. I'll see you again later. Hang on just a tick. So please know that I'm working on Rising Storm Vietnam Bullshittery Part 2, as voted on by the patrons and the Twitch subs. And um, yes, so it's only only day three, so I haven't gotten very far. I'm sort of putting it together clip by clip, and well, get yeah, I'll be getting on with the text and animation stuff soon. But I'm just sort of putting the video together. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm just going to take off Lulu's muzzle and see how she reacts. So hang on. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, well done, good girl. Yes, he's a good girl. Yeah, did you wear that muzzle? Did you wear that muzzle? Did you wear that muzzle? Who's a good girl? <laughs> there we go. Now she can... <laughs> she's like... She's my face. Oh, God. I can feel my face. Yeah, good girl. Right. You're going to wear... Yeah, so I'm going to put this back on you in about an hour and a half or so, I'm afraid. Yes. You've got to wear it again later. I want you to get very used to this by the time we go back to the vet. You're a good girl. Well done. <laughs>
Good girl. Right, cool. Thank you for watching, folks. Have a lovely afternoon. Hope to catch you again soon. So let me hand you over to... Hang on a minute. So ZF Sheep is playing a bit of Subnautica, so I'll hand you over to him. So he's swimming around in a kelp forest right now. Not entirely sure what he's doing in Subnautica. Right. Cool. So thanks. All the best. Good afternoon to you all. Hope to see you again soon. This is ZF Sheep.